hello all and welcome back to the channel. I am Tom, aka the T Dog, and this is Will, the Cardboard King, mm. drinking a glass of orange. And yeah. we're going to do something historically significant here. Uh, we're going to play the Atari Jaguar, another forgotten system, uh, one which I actually had when I was a kid. And there's a funny story between me and Will, funnily enough, because Will and I, mm -hmm. uh, we met really briefly when we were kids. Um, and we could barely even remember it. Like, uh, Will added me on Facebook after not talking for about 20 years and said, oh, are you still into video years. games? Was it that long? 25 years? I think it's 25 years, yeah. yeah. And of course, I was still into video games. And one of our joint memories was the Atari Jaguar. And Will had played on my Jaguar, which is really weird. Yeah. So, Will, That's talk, really talk weird. me through that a minute, okay, quickly. Well, like, what, what actually I... happened there? Well, what happened is, as I had a friend at school called Wayne, who you know, uh, we jumped over the school gate uh, at lunchtime and ran to his house, which was actually close by to the school, uh, and ate corn on the cob and played Doom and Alien vs. Predator on Atari Jaguar. And that is my history of it. And the, what was the weirdest part of the whole thing was the fact you've got to put like cardboard overlays over the controller to, get, to, to know the controls, which is really weird for me. Um, but yeah, it was it was a weird system, but it had all the games I always wanted to play, like on a console, like Doom and yeah, Alien vs Predator, which I was a massive fanboy of back in the day. So to, to me, Atari Jaguar was like the best thing in the world. But as time moved on, I realised that it was probably one of the worst things in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but um, and, and I never, but I never knew it was your console, Tom, which is flipping crazy to think it's, that. Yeah, it's amazing, thing. isn't it? We've but we friends. didn't really know each other. That well but no tonight we're actually playing it together for That's the right. first time which yeah. is really weird and yeah. i'll just share a bit of my story of how i came to have a jaguar when i was a kid so i really didn't want to get one and um, i thought you know what the sega saturn is coming in a couple of years and i can remember going to debenhams with my mum and my brother and the salesman there trying to talk us into getting an Atari Jaguar. And I was arguing back to him. I was only, you know, 13 or something at the time going, yeah, but I kind of think we should invest our money in Sega Saturn software because the Saturn is the future. That's probably going to be the most successful game system of all time. Uh, of course, I was very wrong on that point. And uh, the thing that actually um, eventually talked around my mum and my younger brother was that Alien vs Predator was running on it. And that really was the killer app. Uh, I know you've mm. referred to it as well, Will, and we'll spend a bit of time with that tonight. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so Alien vs. Predator and Doom in particular were games that you just couldn't play on a console back in the day. And mm. it was really like an amazing thing to be able to play those on a system. That's right. Now, like I said, I still, I think at first I was arguing for the Saturn and then my mum was going, oh, yeah, but we need a new game system now. I mean, I had the coolest mum, I still do. Uh, and then I started saying, why don't we get the 32X? That looks really good too. And the weird thing is, yeah. Will, you had a 32X, didn't you? I did, I did. With Doom and Metalhead and Star Wars. I think that's all I got. Because the games, believe it or not, were quite hard to find. They weren't always like in the shops. I remember seeing Knuckles Chaotix at one point. But like they weren't as common to find as like Super Nintendo or Mega Drive. They were sort of just random. They got like a, a very limited amount of stock. So, uh, yeah, I had Metalhead, Doom, uh, Star Wars, but that was it. That's all I had. And it would, it would never work properly, man. Like, if you <laughs> jogged it or knocked it or, or, or like, you moved the controller, which pulled the console, it would just turn off. It would overheat, um, and it was just really unreliable. But I, 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 the thing is, though, I absolutely loved it, and I've still got Doom and Metalhead to this day. It's, like, one of the only things I've got from my childhood that I still own to this day. That's really cool. So, um, yeah, I still like it. I still like it. I still kind of defend the 32X version of um, Doom. I still think it's all right. Great. Um, but I don't defend the, the SNES version of Doom. That's terrible. But anyway, I've got, <laughs> so, yeah. got off topic a little bit. No, that's great. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, part of what we're going for with this channel, as people know now when they're tuning in, is we want mm. it to be like you're just hanging out with us. And ideally, yeah. what I'd love is if you could almost feel like we're your mates. You know, you come on this channel <laughs> and, and we're hanging mm. out. Uh, not that any of us can go down the pub for, for a drink and a chat now. But, exactly. But that's kind of what we want to go for, you know. We want to invite you in uh, to the conversation. I'm seeing yeah. uh, Nintendo Freaks has got some good comments. Where did you learn yeah. to fly? Really iconic game, Cybermorph. And doesn't Doom oh, on yeah. Jaguar not have any music? That's right. I think Nintendo Freaks is leading us on to something important here. I think we should get down to the content uh, and start yes. to get into the games. I, so, I, absolutely. Absolutely. So... 
just will to give you a bit of heads up speaking of reliability uh mm-hmm. occasionally you're sort of going into a, a mass of pixels at points but then you're okay again now um okay so- I, I think it's just my internet i've got a dodgy internet where i am i'm stuck out in the woods so we don't get the best of internet. So I think the best thing to do is just get into the game as you can ignore my pixely, my pixely <laughs> yeah. self at the moment. Good thing is your sound <laughs> is solid. So Good. Okay. That's a good thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to break it down now. So before we kind of move on further, I've got to address the elephant in the room, which is this time round, uh, I'm being a filthy pirate. Uh, there is absolutely no way I was going to be able to get a Jaguar oh uh, in time for this stream. I <laughs> know, Will. I was like, oh am I ruining God. Will's channel by adding this? And I was like, you know <laughs> what? I control the stream. He's not going to know any different. Um, so I'm using emulation this time around. Uh, I'm using two programs, uh, which are Virtual Jaguar. I'll move mm-hmm. this up here. And Project Phoenix. So if you want to check out the Jaguar, uh, that's the best way to do it. Now, when you turn on the Jaguar... Uh, it comes up with a bit of an intro screen. Uh, it takes a little while to load, but it's going to fire up here. This is what it comes up with uh, when you turn on your Jaguar. Does this bring back any memories, Will, from that one time? You sort of None played whatsoever. It? Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I, I'm not too sure. I can't. I don't really remember the Jaguar too well. I don't remember it too well. Okay. So I'll, I'll bring you. Yeah, give you a couple of uh, knocks to your memory. So. This is what the controller looked like. You see on the left, it kind of looks a bit like a, a really weird spaceship. Uh, and then to the mm, right, yeah. that's the controller you mentioned. So you see it's got the number pad there, one, two, three, yeah. four, five. Uh, and yeah, as you described, you could get these cutouts that you put onto the controller that had that's things right. like pictures of guns and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, almost as good as my Photoshop, Nintendo freaks have said. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit, uh, Will is the creative genius. Uh, I'm just the guy for putting in random jokes. That's You're kind of where I place genius. my strength. You're a technical genius, man, and the, and the video game guy. I'm I'm not I'm not either of those things. You're you're the one that you you can play the games and and do these 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 funky PowerPoint presentations you got going on. Yeah, yeah I feel like I should be charging people for the, uh, for the yeah. education. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, just and just to break down what's actually in the Jaguar. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, so right, get this: there are two processors in the Jaguar. It wasn't a strictly sixty-four bit system. Uh, what they did was they had two thirty-two bit processors. One was called Tom. And the other was called Jerry. I'm not even making no this up. Yeah. Really? So Tom was like the um, graphics processing unit. So that's the equivalent of your video card. Uh, and then, yeah, Jerry was the digital signal processor. And they both ran at around 26 megahertz, which, yeah, I mean, that's actually really pretty fast for the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they said, oh, yeah, because it's got two 32 bit processors, it is therefore 64 bit. Uh, so that was how they, yeah, sort of came up with it. So that was a really, really weird fact of the system, and it made it very, that very difficult weird. to develop for. And the other weird thing is uh, the Motorola 6800 that's mentioned at the bottom there, uh, that's the same processor that's in the Mega Drive. So it actually had the Mega Drive processor and then these two extra oh my ones. God. So that's why, like, so many Jaguar games, even though it's um, very powerful on paper, they come across like a little bit glitchy or, or maybe like they're not reaching the full potential and it's also why something like doom is really good because yeah, they're really yeah, good right. developers but if there's like um, a subpar developer they wouldn't be able to do it and yeah you see this um kind of woman at the bottom here i'll make her yes, a bit bigger that was put up there that was the advertisement do the math yeah. Yeah, that's what they said isn't it i think i remember an advert on uk tv or am i imagining that i don't know I can't remember. Oh, we got we got some people in the chat. Here. We got uh, we got Church Escobar is here. Stormwave is here. Hello, Sweet. guys. How are you doing? We're all doing very well. But yeah, I remember, I remember that advert. Um, but I can't remember if I saw it in the day. But Jaguar man, it was a uh, it was a strange thing. It was kind of like going through some sort of loophole to try and get to sixty four. That's and, right. Uh, conning all us stupid kids. <laughs> yeah. And it really was. I mean, a bit like um, I described it already, where our family kind of got conned into getting a Jaguar. Um, And I'll break it down. I won't go into loads of depth here because, you know, there's loads of writing. (laughs) This won't make sense to most people out there. Uh, But to break it down, I'll do a little comparison. You know, this is my PowerPoint, my educational uh, prowess on display. Yeah, you can tell I teach in my working life. So, yeah, you have the PlayStation was a much more simple architecture. It had uh, like a single... 32-bit processor running at 33 megahertz. So if you remember, yeah. uh, Jaguar had Tom and Jerry both running around 25. 
Um, but oh. what it had that the Jaguar didn't, you see where it's got like graphics, 3D geometry engine, 2D rotation, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Basically, the reason PlayStation was so good was all the effects could be done really easily. A developer just had to tick, yes, please do that, and it would work. Meanwhile, the Saturn was absolutely bonkers, right? The Saturn had in total about eight different processors in it, including two 32-bit processors. So you could call the Saturn uh, 128-bit if you really oh, wanted okay, to, okay. which is crazy because it had like two processors, two video cards, um, a sound chip, and a separate processor just for the CD-ROM drive. So that Ooh, thing was just great. absolutely crazy. Uh, so yeah. on paper, it was way more powerful than the PlayStation. And as you can tell, would annihilate the Jaguar but it was just really difficult to program. And then the N64 um, only really had one processor and then a, a second, yeah, kind of co-processor running at 60 megahertz. Much more simple architecture, but the actual mm. core processor was running at 93 megahertz, whereas PlayStation yeah. was running at 30. Um, but just to kind of, uh, yeah, put this out there, bitness, you know, people talk about 8-bit, 16-bit, 32, yes. 64 uh, really, when it comes to video game systems, it doesn't have uh, a huge meaning. Like the important thing, really, is the megahertz, um, but also what's possible with the video cards. So you can see I've described how the Saturn had two video cards, which was crazy. Mm. It meant the 2D graphics were running on a different video card to the 3D ones. It's the kind of thing you get now. In fairness, like you might have two GPUs in your computer. That was kind of what the Saturn tried to do, um, and the Jaguar, in some ways, if we click back to it, was. Yeah, kind of a bit more, probably had more in common with the Saturn in that respect than anything else. And it was really difficult yeah. for developers. So, yeah, so that's the that's the hardware. But what we're really interested in is always the games, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so this is the, oh, I'm just going to move this the, us to... The very down. limited library. Yeah, there's only the around, I think it's something like 51 games. I'm just um, downsizing us because it's not about us, Will. It's about the games. Yeah, very much so, yeah. <laughs> and, and what an amazing library we have to look at here. So, yeah, you can see, I mean, some of them are multi-platform games, like NBA yeah. Jam, uh, Bubsy, which somehow is even worse here than on the Mega Drive, I felt. Get out, really? Uh, yeah, honestly. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, so we can we can obviously jump in to some of them, but I don't okay, know. Okay, I mean... Think... What do you want to go for? I mean, the most iconic games. For, I mean, Doom is we play. We played Doom. Everyone's played Dooms. Mm -hmm. But I think the most iconic game for for the Jaguar has got to be Alien vs Predator. But or Tempest Two Thousand. But Tom, you just pick whatever you want to go with because you're the one that's going to be talking about them. I, I don't really know too much about it other than like kind of four games on this: yeah. Tempest Two Thousand, Alien vs Predator, Doom, and there's got to be another one that I played. I can't remember. Maybe NBA Jam. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is like uncharted territory for me, really. I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume for you as well, Will, uh, yeah. if you're anything like me, this library doesn't jump out at you as much no. play. Uh, no. So I compare that to when we did the PC Engine uh, a couple of weeks back. You could tell I had no shortage of games that I wanted to play. Mm. And I came away feeling like, oh, actually, I want to go and play more of those games. When I do the same for the Jaguar, that doesn't really happen in the same way yeah. um yeah so what i'll do i think i'll fire up a bit of alien versus predator because for both okay, you okay. and for me um that Sweet. really was the game that we were like yeah, yeah that it was sounds it was. awesome so can i, can yeah. I just say is this the entire library uh, is i'm this afraid all... so no way really? is that yeah. it i know i was shocked too really and it was a real like there's like know, four games four <laughs> games yeah there's probably about four good games in fairness mm. out of that 51 games um, do we have I must a say to my showing point. off the Gizmondo one day? Um, oh, you can, you can, of course you can. If you want to yeah. talk about it, we can talk about it. Um, who, so who's here at the moment? We've got Nintendo Freaks, do the math, two 32-bit processors, don't make 64, idiots. <laughs> uh, oh, nice, Raiden. Uh, ever, play, ever plan on showing off the, oh, the Gizmondo? Yes, of course, we can, we can try it out. Apparently, according to Larry Bundy, uh, that thing is melting. Eventually, no like, that is kind of like, like we can all fix like game because there's a there's a there's cons various consoles that are just rotting away, uh, but Gizmondo is the one that really is gonna be gone eventually because it's it's made of kind of it's material like that is just turning into play doh basically. So eventually the whole thing is just gonna melt. <laughs> That's crazy. awesome. Yeah, I know. And they're well expensive back in the day as well. Yeah, and just to answer the question, uh, sorry, I'm getting killed and I've literally just started the game. Uh, so get I it, finished it. this back in the day. Did you? Who with? Uh, I did it with the Predator, 
Um, yeah. I feel like I might have done it with Alien. So the secret to the gameplay of Alien, do you see there I've created an egg? Oh, okay. Well, that and will then hatch, you make a face And that will be yeah. another uh, Alien for me. But you have no to do... way! Oh, I, I didn't what... quite do it in time. I'll, I'll give it another go. I'm a little bit rusty, as you can tell, by the fact I died within a couple I of did, seconds. I, did, uh, I thought that you could basically just kill Marines over and over and over again. I didn't know you could make Aliens. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I think I'll start with the Alien playthrough. Yeah. And just, just addressing this game, I was talking to Wayne, the friend that uh, Bill and I both mentioned. Hi, Wayne. Uh -huh. I know you're a big fan of these videos. You definitely should get yeah. a YouTube account so you can join in the banter. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, and Wayne has challenged me to do a playthrough of this game with the Marine. Uh, I think what we'll do, we'll see how it is on this stream. And mm. I've got to be honest, like I want to play games I actually enjoy. And <laughs> so far, like I, I can appreciate the graphics for its time. Don't get me yeah, wrong. It's but it's not fun, I wouldn't say. No. I mean, I'd much rather, if I was going to do Alien vs Predator, I'd rather play the Capcom version that came out in the arcades. That was wicked. The one where you've got like, um, kind of two Street Fighter-like characters that you fight with. It's like a beat-em-up. Um, yeah. Or I'd like to play the PC version, which is actually really good from 99. It's kind of like this, yeah. but like, uh, obviously, a, yeah, like a, a slightly better version. This is good, though, for its time. This is yeah, probably, I, I... technically, the best on the Jaguar, like, graphically and yeah, it's otherwise. Good. But, I do like the uh, I do love Alien vs Predator 2 on the PC. That is a flipping great. I love that one. And then Alien vs Predator, the the sort of the third one that came on the Xbox and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That was pretty that, I, that was, I didn't like that. It, graphically, it was really good, um, but it it was quite clunky and it wasn't that great. I was a bit disappointed with it. So just is to give a, a, a quick um, overview of what I've been doing, Will. Um, mm. I'm not sure if I can find one, but do you see that egg there? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and you see in the bottom, uh, well, it's kind of bottom left, like on the HUD, on the left, you've yeah. got those things. Those are my eggs that are going to hatch. And then what oh, happens right. is when this alien I'm playing as dies, um, I come back in as one of my eggs. So what you do as the alien is you just keep killing the Marines, turn them into oh. eggs, then okay. dying, then killing another load of Marines, and then hatching more eggs. And that's kind of how it works. Hello, so Staircase. Good to have you with us. Yes, Sorry, that's good. Hello. Um, yeah, I mean that, that that's quite a cool way of kind of like having lives, is, isn't it? Like rather than just having free lives or something like that, you can actually have kind of like a system. Like, I, I I thought I thought though that you hatch them and you have like loads of aliens running around, including yourself. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If you could just like um, be tag team like, that... like Predator, like millions of aliens just jump on him, that'd be really yeah, cool. Yeah, like you, you eventually you've got like about 20 or 30 aliens running around from all the Marines you've got. I thought that's how it was. I didn't think it was just like a life system. No, so, no. To, to give the still, still. Its, uh, give it its props, I could never see this running on the SNES or the Mega Drive. No. Like this is definitely no. a next gen game compared to those. Obviously, it's yeah. nowhere near Saturn or PS1 quality. This is more like, but it is you good. know, a bad 32-bit game, or, you know, not a bad 32-bit game, but just a sort of stand-up one, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'll stand up for it in terms of, like, compared to even the 32X, which hardware-wise is pretty comparable to mm -hmm. uh, the Jaguar, I don't feel like this could be done on the 32X either. There's no. too many colours for the 32X. So, oh, no, I don't know, maybe not colours, but there's something cool. about what it, like, it feels like a good game like as far as the Jaguar goes. Yeah. Oh, look, cocoon hatching. So now I'll oh, cool. yeah, become the next alien. Okay. Oh look, there's a door here. That's cool. If I can work I out how to open it. Oh there we go. But yeah, I mean that's that's basically how alien works, uh as in it's this game. Like it's hack and slash. That's it, and it is a case of just keep on having babies. That isn't me giving you a message, Will. That's me saying <laughs> what you do in the game. Yeah, it is just keep having babies, and then you're kind of immortal so long as you've got offspring, basically. Uh, incidentally, like life. incidentally, before jumping into your stream, I fell down a rabbit hole of videos about restoring Game Boy and NES consoles. Oh, cool. Who did you watch to see that? And hello, Staircase. How are you tonight? Me and Staircase uh, played a bit of Among Us yesterday, Will. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's on? good. Well, I was playing with some of my friends, and uh, I just plonked it in your Discord chat. And, uh, yeah, Staircase jumped in, which was really cool. Oh, nice. But we only played for a few rounds, and then, yeah, mm. you know how it goes, like, people start to get distracted or whatever. But yeah, yeah. 
We were like saying we might server. do, and if anyone wants to join this, like we've got a Discord server, and it's going really well. Like loads of people. Well, I say loads of people. There's probably a core group of about six people that, yeah, we're like chatting away, sharing different stories of what we're doing and stuff. Um, but we're likely to play a few games and things. It's not really going to be stuff we put on the channel. Like Will and I talked. We're not going to do a kind of Among Us stream on here or anything. But if you're interested in playing, yeah, a few games, just connecting, sharing your artwork then jump in the Discord channel. It's been, yeah, I, I mean, what are you finding about it, Will? Because I'm finding it great being in that. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been on Discord a while, you know. Um, I still don't really understand how it all works, <laughs> but like, um, but no, it's, it's, it's nice to sort of like talk with people you know, other than just on, on the stream, you know, it's weird. You know, it's just nice to be able to talk, isn't it? Yeah. One Share of my favorite things was um, somebody started making uh, like a Tom and Will Tuesdays logo and i was like oh that's so cool <laughs> i love stuff like that and then somebody started uh creating yeah like memes of you at one point and me <laughs> that was yeah, really yeah. funny i loved all that i think it's my so maturity is... to be fair i just love that kind of humor <laughs> uh so this is like a crappy copy of doom i think i think you're right there uh the channels were one man's trash and odd tinkering uh there are very long videos about someone rescuing a nest and it's been left uh, to rot on a leaky barn mm, okay uh and now i can think about re uh revitalizing avp as massive uh, as massive 64 plus player dm's that'd so cool. game. that'd be deadly wouldn't it uh, That'd be good. Sorry, deadly is I, like slang from Ireland that I've picked up. It means good. Just need to translate that for the international audience. That'd be so cool, wouldn't it? Like a 64 player version of this, particularly if we could all be aliens. Oh, look, my next cocoon is hatched. Um, I'm, oh, thinking, nice. I'm thinking I might swap characters. I um, think you should. Yeah, just because it gets a bit boring. I've got uh, Matt Russell saying, I remember this game being a lot scarier. Nice work, chaps. Loving your content. Thanks, buddy. Oh, thank Matt, you. Thank Matt's you. one of my really old friends from back in the oh, day. Oh, nice. And nice. uh, yeah, he used to play on the Jaguar with us when we were kids mm -hmm. as well. Come round and he'll remember. What, your Jaguar? Say again, buddy. Was it, your, was it your Jaguar you played on? Yeah, my one. Like, uh, I think I was probably the talk of the town for having a Jaguar. <laughs> you were, yeah. And everybody the wanted only to play. And, like, even you, you'd never even really met me and you just heard think, about the Jaguar. Ev <laughs> everybody in town at least once played your Atari Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. um, it was full on dirt, rust, and cobwebs. Yet the TLC had brought it back. Nice. In, 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 NES is a destructible, indestructible man. Like, you, you know, you can you can refurbish those things to high heaven, and no matter what state they're in, with, in a, with a degree, uh, with a you know. Um, Oak City, hello there, Jaguar. Oh, yes, Jaguar. Um, actually, the barn NES was from a channel called Luke Morse One. A friend of mine uh, restores NESs. He restored mine, actually. In fact, we made a video on restoring my NES because uh, back in the day, when I was a little angry kid and losing on Super uh, NES games, I'd punch my NES. <laughs> You're just such a like non-violent person now. I just can't picture you going, oh, NES. I, 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 think, I think it was because we had the Super Nintendo and I thought, I don't need this piece of crap anymore. And I just started treating it really badly. Yeah. And then like... Um, and then one day I punched it so hard that my hat went through it. And then now I'm absolutely gutted that I did that. Yeah. But at the same time, it makes it unique, the fact that I played something so much or something that, that, that I, I damaged my NES. And now yeah. I've fixed it and it's kind of like a, a time capsule from the past. So it's pretty cool. It's funny, actually, you touched on something there too, which is uh, that feeling of when you got a new system. It was meant to just yeah. replace your old yeah, one, wasn't yeah. it? It's like you didn't need yeah. the old one. You don't one. need that old one anymore. You know, yeah. are you ever going to play it again? It's the graphics. Because you judged everything by graphics. Hence why that's we right. have the, the, we're playing this now, the Atari Jaguar. It's like, I don't need anything that's 32-bit anymore. You know, you <laughs> yeah. scrap those things. But this is a perfect example that that, that attitude is stupid because look what you've got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's, that's where I was going because... Um, I kind of had that same mindset a bit with this. I was like, right, well, technically I've got a 64-bit system now. Yeah. I shouldn't need my Mega Drive anymore. And no. within like um, a few weeks, I was just like, oh, I know I'm not meant to do this, but I'm just going to set up the Mega Drive again. And before I knew it, I was like, yeah, I, I know I'm meant to like this more because it's 64-bit, but I, I actually prefer the Mega Drive. Isn't that funny? Yeah. 
And similar when I got the um, Sega Saturn. Like, I loved the Saturn, but I only had two or three games for it. Yeah. And I set up the Mega Drive again one day, and I was like, oh, I actually really miss this. And, yeah, you just you realise, don't you, that it's not about the graphics and having the latest stuff. It's just about what do you actually enjoy playing. Um, which, on that note, that's probably why I won't end up doing a full playthrough of this game. Because it's yeah. just not very fun. Like, if it was no. fun, I'd do it. Like, I'd happily play through... Uh, you know, we did the PC Engine, and we played that game Gradius with the giant sun to all the flame and stuff. Like, that game was tough, but I'd happily mm -hmm. play more of it because I was enjoying it. Yeah. Whereas this is just... Yeah, it's just not really that fun to play anymore. No, it's, it's not, not terrible. Still. Like, I'll give it credit. It's not awful. It's mediocre. But yeah. I suppose that says something back about Jackie. Day, that the Jaguar's best game is is mediocre. <laughs> Whereas yeah, like, uh, yeah. I feel like the early Saturn and PS1 games are still good, even though the graphics have aged, the actual gameplay is fun. Like if you play, play I don't know, the first Crash Bandicoot, for example, um, that will still be fun to play. Whereas this, yeah, doesn't hold up quite so well. Hmm. But it's cool though, it's a cool bit of history for me. You know like how for you, Will, you love playing games that you have a connection to from your childhood? Yeah. Um, I feel like this has more intrinsic value to me because I played it as a kid um, than I'm getting, I would be like, now, really. I'm getting like flashbacks of me bunking off from school, worried <laughs> that I'm going to get caught. That's how I felt. That's how I remember playing this game, like bunking off school, yeah. worried when I get back, when I jump over the fence, my teacher's going to see me and I'm going to get told off and something's going to happen, you know, probably in detention or something. So I was, because I was a little goody goody kid, kid in the school. Yeah. So kind of like, um, so playing it, playing this game, like uh, it brings back those memories of being a bit naughty and bunking yeah. off. I bet was was Wayne like your uh, the most rebel of all of your friends? Would you? Say? Wayne was like, no, I'd be all right over the fence. Yeah, I, remember, <laughs> I remember him saying like, over the fence and out. I, cause I said, how are you yeah, gonna get out? So him, and I could like, picture him saying that back in the day. Yeah, cause I was like, how's the right mush over the fence and out? I could just, I could hear him saying it. And I was like, and I was like, oh yeah, cool. So we just jumped over the fence, even though there was a gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we did that, but like uh, I remember going back to this and playing this, and I was like, "Oh my god, Aliens! I love it, and Predator as well." Because this is the first time I think Aliens and Predator were together, and yeah. Marines as well, all fighting. So it's, it, was, it was only the comics that had that. I mean, I don't think even Predator Two was out where it shows the alien skull. I don't know if you remember where you remember that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was but like, like a really uh, yeah for for peeps like us. That was like the amazing it moment. Was a big deal. Oh, they and might do Alien versus Predator. Yeah, and it was almost like game. the dream match, wasn't it? It was like, I really hope they make that at some point. Yeah, and yeah. unfortunately, this is the first time we saw <laughs> Aliens and Predator together was this flipping clunky mess. Yeah. But I mean, it's all right. It's okay. It's a nice bit of history. Hello, Petri. How are you doing? Um, chemical Plant Zone? Yeah, I think I think yeah. on balance, I'm going to defend this game a bit and say, for its time, it's, like bearing in mind it's 93, I think I mean, this is great. This, this is, is really it, good uh, for 93. The marine all looks really cool, to be fair. This all looks really good. All the greens and the browns and those colours are quite cool. The alien was kind of like a big, big hive mess. But this looks quite good, but I know I'm just judging it graphically. And that's not yeah. what we're doing here. We're judging this on gameplay, and unfortunately it sucks, man. Yeah, it's, it, it's actually <laughs> picking up for me a little bit, but the problem is... Is it really? Is I, I kind of know that it doesn't really change much beyond what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. Like, what you're seeing here is what you get with this game. Yeah, it's just you know, walk around corridors, shoot oh, some there people. Shoot it. Shoot There's obviously it. a pattern to it, you know, where you need to go certain ways to get things. But yeah, yeah. I think, and I think part of that is the technical limitations of the time. Like when you compare yeah. this to Doom or Duke 3D or whatever it might be. You'll see there's no layers or anything. It's just you're in a corridor and that's it. Yeah. That's all the game and is. Well here, as well here that you can't walk past that acid. They do these tight corridors and stuff. Yeah, that's like, right. God, Tom, you're going to get scratched. You're going to get scratched by an alien. And the secret and now is you to kind of kill them there. in the middle of big rooms. So then you, yeah. can, you don't have to walk oh, right. on the acid. I mean, the acid doesn't yeah. do loads of damage and health is plentiful, but... Yeah, it's just it's just a little bit limited, really. Um, mm. But some of that, I think, is probably down to the technology of the time. They just weren't in a position where they could do rooms on top of rooms and stuff like that, um, which makes it amazing, actually, that Doom had such a good port onto this system. Yeah, that it was good. I think that's down to good development more than anything else, really. <laughs> Peter said, <laughs> OK, bye-bye. <laughs> He's like, I don't oh. like this game. This game sucks. Yeah, this... <laughs> that's an interesting me. level design. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just like appear in the level and you're immediately cornered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So did you get another gun? I don't. Is that you a shotgun? At some you've point, got there? but you get like a flamethrower and stuff. Oh like right. That. Yeah. Is that I it? don't even you know get... where you get that really. Um, do you get the smart gun? Oh, there's oh, there's room for four guns. Yeah, yeah. You, you can see them just about in the yeah. uh, side there in kind of pixely form. Yeah. Do you eventually you eventually fight the predator as well? Yeah, you do as a marine. Uh, I seem yeah. to remember the marines' gameplay being the hardest. I think I'm actually probably doing pretty well here to have not died. Um, having said that, I am thinking I might switch into a different game. Maybe um, yeah, yeah, try out something well, like pissed. But I feel like we showcase this pretty well, to be fair. What? Do we play the, pre the, the 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 predator? Yeah, absolutely. We, we'll do I, that because I think if we're on this game, we might as well. Yeah, yeah you know, don't have the predator. To see all the gameplay styles. Yeah. I mean, this, is, it, cool. it, this it, is cool. This intro, like where it's just got the, you can't hear it, Will, but it's got kind of a heartbeat and then the do, 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 do. That's quite ominous. <laughs> Sets a tone for the game well. So, okay. yeah, we'll do a I'll bit take of your word for it. That's a crappy looking predator. There's a lot <laughs> yeah. of crappy looking aliens and predators in this, by the way. Like the, the title screen, the alien looks so goofy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. This is very orange. So looking around. Oh, that's right. You can oh, turn. Right. So that's me turning invisible. Oh, you turn so invisible. So now the Marines okay. can't see me, but the twist in Predators game. But you can't can. see yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think that's an emulator glitch, to be fair. Um, oh, is so it? Where it's gone on the right, it's gone all purple. It doesn't do that on an actual Jaguar. If so <laughs> the solution is if you want to see high quality Alien vs. Predator footage, then send me an Atari Jaguar by next week. <laughs> Oh, we've got uh, Dragon John here. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Alien on PS1 was sick. I love that game. Alien on PS1. Do you mean Alien Trilogy on PS1? Is that on PS1? You can see there's a Marine there, look, and I'm invisible, so he can't see me. There's a, there's a few Alien games on... There's, 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 a, there's a shitload of Alien games, to be fair, and uh, the majority of them suck. Apart from Alien Resurrection, that game's awesome. And Alien vs. Predator 2 and 1. And yeah. Maybe those are good ones for us to... Uh, maybe even we do a bit of co-op sometime. Yeah, man. That yeah, Because well. was... that's I a really low-spec like... game, and they also released the mm. source code for it. So what that means yeah. is I think there's a Mac version. So you can play on your Mac, and I'll play on PC. And Sounds good. Yeah. We'll oh, um, hunt and here's, kill. A question. here's a question. Wasn't pretty much everything, uh, every first-person shooter running on a Doom engine during this era? You, was this one in a Doom engine? No. No, not at all. No? Uh, yeah, not not so much. Um, I mean, the two big ones that we used were the Doom engine was used for Doom, Heretic, and Hexen. Those were the big games using the Doom right. engine. Uh, and then this later game was on, running on, this is a custom engine. This one, uh, this is this is running on a big ones. It was running on a bloody traction engine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is all made from cardboard. <laughs> this game, Will was yeah, actually yeah. part of making this game. Uh, yeah, yeah well, and then oh, later on, the other big engine was. That's uh, cool. With Duke 3D, um, something called the Build Engine. That became quite oh, big. Right. That's what Blood was made in and Shadow Warrior and stuff okay. like that. Okay, so so what do you do here? When you shoot an alien, how do you walk over, get past the acid? Right, get past get past the acid now. You can't. No. Surely that's a bit of a stupid idea. It is, really. It's a bit of a flaw yeah. in design, really. Although, having said that, you kind of just learn to compensate for it. So what you have to do is... I'm going to stop this in a minute because it's just getting very boring now. I'm just walking around, finding an occasional you... marine and having glitchy graphics. And that's pretty much my game. Yeah. You gave up with the Predator. In, in what sense? Oh, you, you, we're still we're still as the Predator, right? Oh, uh, we're still the Predator, yeah. Oh, it's sorry. It's really I, I, happening I was... with the Predator. He's just kind of walking around a uh, big empty maze. That's why I'm not yeah. so interested in doing a playthrough of this one because... Yeah, the Predator's, the predator's a bit... I didn't like the Predator in any of the games, to be fair. Really? Although I've really, I've really liked the Predator, like as a, a movie villain or whatever. But mm. as playing the games, it's a bit silly. So the strange thing is, he was my favourite character to play as in this game back in the day, mm -hmm. and I think it was yeah. the Predator I finished it with first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever finished it with the Marine, but I must admit, even though it had like amazing graphics for its time, I think I just kind of got a bit bored of it. Because yeah. in theory, it's like such an awesome game, and you look at it and you're like, okay, you know, it's aged, but it still looks very atmospheric. And then you play yeah. it and you're like, oh, it's actually not that great. 
Uh, I have this on Wii U. Wonder if Netplay Jaguar works. Um, I think it. And the graphics are it probably awful. would. Puppy, puppy. Um, I mean, there are a couple of kind of issues with Jaguar emulation, like the performance. You could probably tell even from this, it's not like emulating the SNES or the Mega Drive. Like you will have more glitches. Um, so this, what you're seeing here, this is an emulation glitch. The whole kind of split screen look. Well. This game sucks a little bit. Um, <laughs> should we try something else? <laughs> yeah, you're like a, this, this game that was like, what are your most iconic from your childhood? Your Sunday yeah, game. I loved it back in the day. It's and in, a, in, a, in, some, in some way, I still do love it. But yeah. to play it, I think, I think if I saw it sitting there on a shelf, I'd be like, oh, yeah, if it was a printer, I love that game. Yeah. But then if I play it, I'd be like, maybe I don't. Yeah. It, but then if I saw it, and then if I see it again, I'd be like, yeah, if it was a printer, really cool. But then, you, you know, you come back to it and go, nah, it's not great. I mean, to give it One credit, it, it was better than I expected. Um, oh, good. Okay. I enjoyed it more then than I did when I played it last time. Uh, my, last mind time you, I, uh... like, I, I managed to get past some of the uh, blockiness and controls that time round. Mind you, I am having to, I am having to watch this on Discord with loads of pixels in a small screen with no sound. So that does amplify its shittiness. Yeah, you definitely live in the dream there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if Jaguar wasn't bad enough. So, ah, oh, here we yeah. go, it's come up now. It's like, ah, oh, this What's game this? is so awful. I honestly... What is this crap we're playing? Even what, hearing what are we this, playing I now? hate it. This was the packing game, right? So oh, no, this. Oh, this. oh, no. Cybermorph. It's so bad. Honestly, like, I played it the other day. Well, yeah, literally just to prepare for this stream. And it's, ah, oh, it's so agonising to play. Really? Is it... I mean, so bad. Oh, I don't want to play it. <laughs> oh, it's so <laughs> Can you see how bad this is, Will? It's going really fast. Yeah. Is it going to be going this fast? Like um, that's another emulation issue. It's running too fast. But it's running too fast. It can't be any worse. So oh maybe that make it more fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm tempted to just stop playing it. It's so bad. This is like ten times worse playing it fast. I mean, like that's right. The problem, the problem yeah, with this game slow and glitchy, but it's like oh, be careful what you wish for because if you play it yeah. fast, it's an even worse game. Oh, look at the pop up as well. See, I would, I still maintain that oh, Star man. Fox is better than this. Oh no, this is awful. Awesome. Uh, I I remember a few uh, Jaguar commercials. I remember seeing. Oh, hang on, just catch up with the chat a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, same for me. I rediscovered old games and realised in they're terrible, but yeah, I love them still. Yeah. Some, some, things, some games for me just have not Oops. aged well at all. That was Before a real accident on my part. I can't believe I quit that game. How did that uh, even I, happen? I remember a few Jaguar commercials and was seeing they're really trying to uh, play up Pitfall. I remember Jurassic Park on Sega being really good. Uh, but I watched a playthrough of it the other day, and it's just terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's it's it's, oh, it's just the thing is though, like it's it's um, a, a, a guilty pleasure potentially. Yeah. Oh no, not Cybermorph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Nintendo, uh, we can Star Fox too. Uh, this, <laughs> this game is uh, like the other attempt at Star Fox. No and way, there's another one? They tried yeah, it twice? But this one, they did like a side-scrolling shooter. Oh, right, okay. All right. So, so, um, it's, it's already painful. Like, even look at this menu, you're like, you know this isn't going to be good. <laughs> 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 uh, no way! Oh, man, that's so funny. That's so stupid. Yeah. That's like Come Star on, that's Fox. Great. All right, they got Star oh. Fox. We got photorealistic yeah. Star Lion. Um, Look at this. I can't get over that. That's so stupid. <laughs> no way. Is there any more of that? Is it like a, like I a hope dolphin so. in a oh, dolphin it's in really a jumpsuit unplayable. or something? You look um, at it and you think it looks play... like it'd be okay, but it's really not. <laughs> we got a request to play Rayman. Uh, hey, oh, mum. That's a good, good game. Um, we have Star Fox at home. Yeah, that's right. Can I get Star Fox? Oops. No, we got Star Fox at home. We got the bootleg flipping photogenic tiger version. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I might <laughs> tell you what. I might just reset this game because I want to see that oh, more time. Oh no, it's it's I feel so like that would be bad. A fun day, in fairness. I'm sorry. I like. I know. Like, if you if you <laughs> slack these games off, you 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 get hate sent your way. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take it. <laughs> the Jaguar stuff. Yeah. I know. Look, look, it's so bad. I can't. <laughs> that. I can't believe that. <laughs> it's 
it's so <laughs> stupid. It's so funny. It's so stupid. I might put that as my like, Discord like... picture or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Like a lion just photoshopped onto a kernel. Yeah, it's so funny. Oh my god, they're not even being subtle about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, this this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, like, it's the thing is, it's like an imitation of better games. R, R, so R it's, type. It's just like R type, but like maybe like before R, like yeah, uh, just just Z, type Z with type, no R or something. Type type two diabetes or I don't know, <laughs> but less fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. It's What's not, this game called? I, I don't know what this. I don't know what this game's called. This game's called like an imitation of our type. It's a, not my type. I, I believe you'll find it's called Trevor McFur in the Crescent Galaxy. I'm not making Trevor that up. Mc That's actually what this is called. Trevor McDonald what? <laughs> Trevor McDonald. Oh <laughs> man, I, you can tell I'm not even trying because normally when I'm playing like, games, sort of I'm accidentally like, oh, let's slip get into it, and I'm just like, don't care. No, Tom. No. Oh, I've got bombs. That, that's a game changer. Now it's become a less game. What? I haven't seen anything come from the bottom of the screen. So why do you need? Oh no, there's there's a rock. There's, oh, a rock. So there's another rock. It's really really poor. Can you imagine yeah. spending like fifty quid or something on, on this? Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Like... Right. I'll give you a laugh. I saw this in the magazine, and I thought, okay, maybe that will be an actual good Jaguar game because I saw a screenshot and thought, right, well, I like side-scrolling shmups. Yeah, maybe that would be cool. <laughs> Playing it as an adult, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I didn't end up with this. Can we can we save kind of like the best games till last? Like Tempest 2000 and Doom till last? Because I want to go away from this stream kind of still liking Jaguar. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want to go away from this thinking I'm not touching that stupid flipping thing again. <laughs> you know, I want, to, I want to go from this thing. No, Jaguar was okay. You know, it had a good yeah. version of Doom. It had, it had Tempest 2000. And Ailey vs Predator <laughs> wasn't the best, but it was still pretty cool. Yeah, but I, I can't. I can't get over that lion. <laughs> the tiger. So good. That's so good. I can't believe. Did so you funny. Know that already, you must have known about that already. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was just that's like, immense. Oh, that's crazy. I in a stream somewhere, I was like, that's that would so just be crazy. hilarious. Yeah. So I, 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 I posted a screenshot of a lion reaction on Discord. Thank you very much. I, I would save at that moment. <laughs> that's oh, that so, so funny. funny. <laughs> Why did no why has no one spoken about that before? I've never seen that on anything. You'd think that'd be on like A V G N or something, wouldn't you? Really? You think you'd put that on? That is the most amazing thing ever. That's so stupid. I do love it. It's like it is actually hilarious. Here we There's go. got to be more. I mean, I, I'm I've gone on to um, Mr. Google to get. What's he it? saying as well? What's he saying? Corporal Cor McFur. Corporal McFur. This is the general. <laughs> general is that his pattern. Name? <laughs> How can his name be General Pattern? That's cool. hilarious. Oh, oh, man. Oh, has entered your sector. Heads up, McFur. So is that who? Are you, is that you? You play as that dude? Is no, that you? you? You are um, Trevor McFur in the Crescent they Galaxy. I'll see if I can find a picture of um, Trevor McFur. We will get her back onto some gameplay, but this is just too they much must, comedy gold. To, they must uh, have been laughing it. their asses off, like thinking, "Okay, this is the guy who plays." Like this must have been a piss take. They yeah. must have just like. Oh, they got Star Fox. You know, we can do that too. Can, <laughs> but can you imagine really actually sending this to um, like your boss for review? You go, oh yeah, I've come up with this game. Uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> and then them playing it and seeing that lion and being like, oh well, at the end of the day, it's the Atari. I don't like it. We're stuck with bad games. We might as well just go with it. Oh, so bad. It yeah, here you go. Like... Here's the box art. It might be a bit pixely. <laughs> Look at it, it's like a tiger hugging a... What is it? Hugging a... a another tiger, I think it is, yeah. I've, I could look for a higher... That's too much. Image. But, yeah. Oh, man, That's the agony. That's too bad. That's so bad. I know. That's just so <laughs> generic. I wouldn't even call it generic. I think it's like... Um, just it, it makes Sonic 06 look, you know, like a, a masterpiece of all time, doesn't it? I mean, I, I say it's stupid, but at the same time, I really like it. I, oh, that's crazy. Uh, I post. Uh, that's a Lynx. Oh, a Lynx. Oh. Okay. I'm, I, I'm sorry I'm, that I'm my sorry, uh, I'm, fandom I'm, of Trevor McFur <laughs> and the Crescent Galaxy isn't up to the level it needs to be. <laughs> I, they must have been laughing, laughing so much. <laughs> yeah. A tiger or a Lynx? Ah, because Atari Jaguar get it? Yeah, yeah, potentially. We got to fit in with the theme. 
Let's try Wolfenstein. Let's try and play something that's okay, okay, you know, yeah, actually meant to be good. Cool. Say it again, Zool buddy. Zool 2's good. you got Zool 2 as well. That's good. Oh, yeah, there are some good games. Zool 2. I think it's kind of like the games, the ports of the, for, the, for this, this, this console were good. Yeah. But... Like the games that Jaguar had officially for the console were all pretty shite. Uh, the problem this... was Atari were never good at developing games. Like they created no. consoles, but they didn't. They weren't like Sega or Nintendo, who had no. brilliant development studios in house, or like Sony, who just threw loads of money at getting developers in. And same with Microsoft. Instead, they kind of made oh, a system, sweet. but they had no ability to develop. Okay, so this is. I mean, it's got that kind of. Um, you can probably see what the camera's doing, some jumping and moving and stuff. That's like very disorientating. This yeah, kind of reminds me, of like, do you know, do you know the the, uh, the side scrolling Duke Nukem? Oh the yeah, Duke, Duke Nukem Two. Kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. You know, you yeah, sort of that. like your your PC games, but this is sixty four bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really no different to on the Mega Drive or the SNES. I, I, I wouldn't even say this is sixteen. You know, this is yeah. kind of like. It reminds um, me of the, um, and, and this isn't a diss by the way, because the Amiga had some really good games, but it, it kind of reminds me of like a low, one of the lower spec Amiga games, that's yeah. what I compare it to, but I'd rather play it on the Amiga for some authenticity than, yeah, it's it's not good man, it's kind of, no. it's one of those games that would come out on the Mega Drive or the SNES, and yeah, you'd you never play it, because you'd be like, oh I could play that, or I could play Mario Sonic. Or, or Sonic, yeah. or, or even like, but, some of the other platformers. But, you know, I mean, it's it's a game. I'll give it that. And I don't like the some product some... placement either. Yeah. yeah. Chuppa chups. <laughs> uh, I just catch up with chat. Uh, oh, of course, Atari Jack would get it. Uh, this is nice. I wish this game could get a, a release. That line. Yeah, I know. Stupid. Amazingly stupid. Brilliant. Uh, check Discord and you're welcome. Okay, we'll check that out. Uh, and excuse me, I'm adding more alcohol to my cooking lunch. <laughs> so that's good. I've is that got, because uh, of this... the Atari Jaguar? It's like, yeah, no, I've, mm. I don't normally drink, but yeah, having you... seen the alcohol games, I need some, having seen these games, I need some alcohol to forget them. Yeah. <laughs> you love this game, did you? It was, it's a, it was a good one. Like, so Ben, our, our pal Ben, our, our pal, pal with the chin who can ski. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he he loved Zool. He loved Zool back in the day. So uh, this is dedicated to you, this number. Um, there is no Mario, only Zool. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Um, discount Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. you're pissed off some people by saying that. Some people love this, love Saw. I think he's cool, like some sort of alien ninja dude. But yeah, I mean, it was all that time when every everyone wanted a, uh, their own version of Sonic, isn't it? You know, yeah. Such a, it's so, nice speaking of which, um, there is a unique platform exclusive Bubsy game in the Jaguar. So we'll have to give that a go. Oh uh, but just the, just put it out there, Rayman is actually very good. It's pretty much it? the same as the PlayStation and Saturn version, yeah. Really? Just obviously it's on cartridge, not CD. But yeah, that, that's probably actually... Yeah, on balance, it's probably the best game on the Jaguar, I'd say. So, like, um... This is weird. This is a very strange game. I've just noticed yeah. you're all just destroying eggs. Are they eggs or something? That's right. So, yeah, yeah I'll jump into... <laughs> just to show you, like, an even worse... Well, I don't know. I don't know if that was a bad game or if I just didn't give it a fair try. In fairness. Look, a 90s mascot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to see a fun. 90s mascot? You want to see Bubsy? Do you remember Bubsy at all, Will? In the fractured furry. Oh, uh, yeah. It's so awful. Like, this oh, is one of those. Although, I did get some oh. enjoyment from the second one. But yeah, this is Jaguar exclusive. I mean, this if there's one reason to have a Jaguar, this Bubsy's is. Bubsy's kind of like. It's like. What's a really crappy film that's so, so bad, and then suddenly gets a sequel, and another sequel, yeah. and another sequel? It's like that. It's kind of like... It really is, isn't I can't, it? I can't, I can't think of what an awful film is that keeps on getting sequels. And I'm like, why? How is it getting sequels? It, the first one was terrible. How has it got a sequel? And then you find out a third film came out. It's like that with this. Yeah. I'm like, it's so crap. And they got them, and then they did the. Did it come out the, on the N64, the 3D version of it? And it's oh, just PlayStation like, oh, really? 1 had Bubsy 3D, which is meant to yeah. be the worst 3D p platformer of all time. Is uh, it really? Well, I don't know if I'm exact. Probably not exaggerating, to be fair. It really is bad. Um, but yeah, I, I think I Bubsy it. was so weird because, like you said, Will, why did this carry on? 
as a franchise. Yeah, like, just... Why would you keep it's... going? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I, it even I, sold I, well. Yeah, uh, it just kept on coming out. It's just like, oh, what okay, else can we have? Bubsy again. And it, does he melt at some point as well? Like, I remember uh, watching John Tron. Like... I'll try and kill him deliberately. Just because it's more yeah. fun than actually Why would you want to do that? Yes, die animations and stuff like that. Oh, Which, to be fair, that's probably one of the redeeming features of the game. <laughs> At least it has something ever so slightly unique about it. But uh, did you know they actually you made a new Busby game recently? <sighs> Jesus Christ, my point made. Um, <laughs> do you guys ever play the Uni Looney Tunes games? So good. Yeah, they were good. We played Tiny Tunes on Mega Drive. That was pretty sick. That, that was, was a good cool, one. wasn't it? And the SNES version is good too. Yeah, they were, they were good. Good good choice. We'll, we'll give those a go sometime. Yeah, that's enough what the Bubsy. hell is a Bubsy? <laughs> yeah. Is a Bubsy a cat? Is Bubsy a cat? He's like a... He's like a uh, where is he? What is Bubsy? He's not a cat. He's like well, a... It says on the title screen that he's... In the second one, it's got like a little song that goes, Bubsy, 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 Bobcat. So oh, he's a Bobcat. Go. It's canon that he's a Bobcat. You now know Does the really Bubsy matter? law. Your life we has would, changed. We would... We were just jumping on like the most generic things, like teacups and stuff like that. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. really matter. It could be a could be a flipping marshmallow man for a week here. So I'm going to play uh, <laughs> Iron Soldier this time round, which I've not nice. played this one before, and I think it's a bit like. You haven't played this. Anything no. can happen. Anything can happen. Like there's no. You haven't played this. Here, I've never seen this. What's going to happen? Oh, oh my god! Iron I've heard Soldier. it's a bit like a be... metalhead on the uh, 32X. I yeah. I think it's similar to that, the same kind of okay. gameplay style. Sweet. We're um, getting some bits for our money with free, oh, oh wow. Look at that, 3D. Wow, a tank, it's tank spinning around. Yeah, welcome Which to the next generation. <laughs> wow, you can get an AK-47. <laughs> oh, look at him, look at your character. I thought that was like um, a mock-up, but no, that's actually meant to be good. <laughs> so it's a robot with an AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's a black We're screen. Tech robot going from an AK-47. Uh, oh, I hope it's all right. We hope too. I feel like um, it's not working. I feel like it would have loaded by now. Now I've actually got because I was so determined to play Jaguar games. I have a second Jaguar emulator that What's I've happened? loaded up just in case there are any that don't work. So okay, I'm kind of, oh, well done. Okay. I'm on a mission now that I want to play Iron Soldier. So I'm going to get into mm. my second Jaguar emulator because I feel like we won't have done our task properly without it. Such a crappy name. I can't wait to play it. Or yeah. watch you play it at least. I like giant robot games. Well, you might be in for a. We might destroy that for you with Iron. Iron. Iron what was it? Iron, Iron Soldier. Iron Soldier. Based on a true story. Really? <laughs> no. Right, here we go. Here we go. 1994. How old were you in 1994? I was at 11. Yeah, I think I'd have been, well, I'd have been about the same. Um, just so yeah. you know, Will, technical yep. limitation, I couldn't turn down the sound on this emulator. Don't worry um, about it. I can mute it, so I've just muted it for a minute to explain okay. to people one of my limitations on the stream, this particular emulator, I couldn't adjust the sound for. So me and Will, yeah, it might be a little bit difficult to hear, but our facial expressions will more than make up for it. By the way, I'm drinking gin tonight because uh, uh, I knew we'd be playing this. So I, 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 sorry, I've got to get it. Sorry, you don't understand. I've got to get it. I'm going to buy a bottle of gin because we're playing Atari Jaguar tonight. This is going to be rough. It's you, 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 we should rip my 20%. We're going to rip down with some gin. Um, there are so few good ones, though, unfortunately. Yeah, there weren't many good giant robot games. I can't really think of any to be fair. Many. Isn't there a Mech Warrior on PC? That was a good one. Yeah, that that was a good one. There's a game that Tex of Black Pets Legion he plays. Mech, uh, uh, what was the giant Mech game he plays? It's really good. Alas, it's it doesn't seem to be loading on here either. So oh, I'm going to try oh. one more time because I've got like a second, you know, because I knew that this well, was going to make or break our evening. I've got a second. Sorry, wrong. folks, you, you, you oh, might look, have the second to... one gives you that. Oh look, okay. I thought Ooh. it was just going to be a red screen then. So. We're just going to okay. have to hope this one loads. I'll keep yes. uh, the sound off for a moment just what, so okay. we can talk this, away this... whilst we're seeing if it works. Oh I my mean... god, please don't look at the Discord, it's cursed. I really I can't wait. Oh, can't wait. Um, <laughs> it's going to be that lion, no. isn't it? And they're going to Photoshop you over the lion, or maybe oh, the lion onto do. you, or something please, like that. Please do. Please That'd be do. great. 
If you do like, that, then we'll use it as a thumbnail for a future video. <laughs> <laughs> we can play that game, yeah. So I get to the end, see how many stupid yeah. animals you can see. I love that. I think that's <laughs> one of my favourite things I've seen in a long time, of the whole of 2020 and 2021. Yeah. Uh, nothing can destroy the desire for giant robots, not even Harmon Harmony Gold and Take Two. <laughs> Oh my god, please don't look at Discord, it's cursed. Uh, Mech Warrior Living Legends, that's a good one. Uh, oh no, this game won't even let you play it, it's a yeah. sign. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to interpret it the same way. It's like an omen from, uh, yeah. you know, the, the Almighty has sort of the said, up, here's the, don't play this. the creed. Maybe that was the game, it. maybe just, that was the game. Maybe that um, was like the best game on the Jaguar. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try this one out, Atari Carts. I've never tried this one either. Um, but I've heard it's actually of okay-ish quality. Oh, um, we got we got ten people watching. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind oh, giving look, us look a like, that. that'd look be sweet. That Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh man, it's like Duke Nukem, but off steroids. Yeah. Sorry, man. I was I was interrupting you there. It's just I had to give my reaction to. That Don't worry, man. It's, 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 it's kind of like um, off the bat, isn't it? When you when you see something so shitty, you've got to at least. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a racing game. Oh, look at my oh, characters. Let's look at the characters. You've got a snowman. Okay. You've got like you got the guy from Monsters Inc. But like, we'll start from the out. top. So we've got Chicken. How do you reckon his name's pronounced? I reckon it's Regius. Regius. Do you reckon that's right? Regius yeah, the chicken. Why? Regius. It's very very specific. Yeah. Scully, Scully, which is generic as hell. Uh, uh, Paul Pito. Paul Pito. Paul Pito the Tres. squid. What are these names? It's like Star Wars names. I love how it's. Where's uh, Trez? I love how it's what? Atari carts, but the problem is Atari don't have any distinctive properties, so they've just had to make up really weird characters like Bentley Pear. Like, who is Bentley Pear? <laughs> Bentley Pear <laughs> is not a character. <laughs> Look at those eyes, man. Look at Bulky. Bentley Pear's eyes. It looks Bulky. like he's, uh, he's been smoking the reefer. Bulky, hasn't he? L literally, tell. someone has just smashed a keyboard and just. Whatever, like, why would you call, like, yeah. with silent P? It's a silent P for the snowman guy. It's so bad. It's Tar Miggan, but with a silent P, and it's a snowman yeah. driving a car. So, I know who I'm going to be. Discount Mario Kart. It's yeah, got to be Bentley Bear. We're doing Bentley, we're going I, I, I was thinking of the, the, the snowman with a silent P name. Park Par Miggan, or whatever his name is. Bentley Bear. That's my homeboy. Bent, Bentley Bear. Just call him Bentley, you don't need to just... Oh, this know. is cool. No, we've got to add All the right. bear. But this Bentley is just bear. Mario Kart. We've got this already on Super Nintendo, and that's 16-bit. Yeah, and that's Again. the whole thing with the Jaguar. This... Why would you play this when you can play Mario but, Kart? But this is alright, though. This is kind of like... This is actually... This is actually okay. Yeah. It... This is actually pretty good, really. It's playable. I would be... I would be pretty happy with this if I bought this for 59 95 and uh well maybe not that happy my parents bought you this but yeah like yeah <laughs> yeah it's not absolutely terrible i can't what's what's the meaning of like? level uh it's very generic uh kind of amiga soundy oh, if really? you know what i mean by that so amiga uh, sound isn't bad it's got a very <laughs> unique sound to it like uh yeah which I don't really know how to describe. I suppose we'll think of like um, a lot of Western developed games have this yeah. very Western game maker Just sound stock, to them. Stock music, yeah. Yeah, it's got like an annoying engine sound, like uh, that just seems to be in my right ear, and it sounds a bit like a lawnmower. <clears throat> That's kind of it, basically. And there don't seem to be any weapons, I notice. The movement on the track looks really good. Uh, look, Nintendo, we can do mode 7 too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Discount Mario Kart, I, I, I agree, man, I agree. Do you notice that we, the hardly no one's watching? Well, we've, we've got 10 people here watching the stream, but there's not a lot of uh, uh, Jaguar fanboys here tonight. <laughs> it's funny that. I, I've got to admit, I kind of knew this one wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. But uh, the, thing is, though, the thing is, though, Tom, like we have to... What what one thing that we 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 me and Tom spoke about the other day is the fact that we want to do streams because we want to do them. We want to do this stuff because we find it interesting. We're not we're not about numbers. We're just about like having a chat with people in the chat and having a good time and sort of just just reliving a bit of our past. Because this is believe it or not, Jaguar is a big part of of uh, me and Tom's past actually. Mm, believe it or not, it is. You know? and like um. We, we may be doing some other games in the future, for, for better or worse, who knows. <laughs> but it's all it's all about having fun, I think. You know. That's it. 
Yeah, I'd rather, and I feel like as well, you know what, if we have fun and other mm. people tune in and see that we're having fun and want to be part mm. of that journey, then that's what it's all about, really. Like, we kind of want the viewers to come on the journey with us through yeah. these wild and wacky, strange games. That's, that's the thing. Like, I think if you, if you kind of force, if you play good games and you kind of like, you, maybe you're not really enjoying it, or even though it's a good game, you might not really enjoy it, but like, you're kind of like forcing content out. I think it's just more fun just to play something for, to relive something from the past and just really like have a, have a, have a bit of a ball with it. You know? Yeah. I also noticed is... there was a, a big Sonic streamer is doing a live stream tonight of the uh, mm. Sonic prototype, and I thought oh, yeah. to myself, "Well, we've already done the Sonic prototype." You know, he's yesterday's news, um, but yeah, I'm only <laughs> joking. He's actually got very good content and seems like a great guy. But yeah, I think we've ended up um, with somebody else who's very popular, having quite a big slot tonight. So that's part of why it's well, yeah, it's going to be lower numbers. But I'm not. I'm I, really I, worried. I, I think we've got great <laughs> engagement in the comments. <laughs> Take I mean, the piss I, I, out of silly games. That's what you do best. <laughs> I just, I just enjoy. It. I mean, for me, like, it, I, it's, I just really enjoy playing these games together and just having a bit of a laugh. Because, like, um, we, we, what, what I, what I spoke about the other day, and this is a bit of kind of like an announcement or whatever. But maybe potentially doing Earthbound because, like, me and Tom That's have right, never Tom, played right. Earth. We've never played Earthbound before. And it's from what I know of it, it's a really amazing the amazing experience and kind of like I, I play a lot of these games now from my childhood. But the thing is though, like I I don't really have any new memories of games, and I kind of want to make a new memory of a game. And I think if me and Tom played Earthbound together and made a new new memory of the time we completed on stream i think that'd be really something quite good and maybe who knows in 10 20 30 years i come back to earthbound and remember that iconic time that we completed it over the course of like i don't know two months or how long it's going to take to complete it who knows but i mean that could be something interesting to do you know uh maybe type some mesh <laughs> red hot sonic question mark that's right uh, yes yeah yeah, Red Hat Sonic's the, uh, you know, I said there was a, one of the big Sonic streamers. That's Red oh, Hat yeah. Sonic tonight. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it's kind of, in some ways, like, um, what you did. quite a similarity for what we did. Yeah, yeah, have that in one window and this in the other. And then go, mm. hey, guys, want to see the Atari Jaguar stream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'll put on, um, should I go for a bit of Rayman now? Uh, I, I think like so, yeah. I mean, had an actual good game yet, have we? Well, okay. no, yeah, we, kind of, we kind of did. I suppose yeah, it's almost as close as we came. But this is one that actually really quite <clears throat> impressed me when I played it. Um, okay. Mainly because it's kind of on par with uh, what came out on the PS1. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, which, you know, in some ways, I think this game wouldn't have got the audience it deserved when it came out on PS1. Uh, See, this sorry, is when it came out on Jaguar, so it's good that they put it onto PS1. Mm. But you can probably... Yeah, I don't know if you can see, Will, but you can tell already that this is a good one. Yeah, I mean, graphically, it's very good. Still not 64. No. But, but the thing is, though, Yoshi, Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi's story. Yeah. That was um, that was 60. That was 60. You know, on the N64, and that was kind of like graphically kind of similar to this. But I like stuff in the foreground. Yeah, I would say this looks better than Yoshi's story myself. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. Yeah. That's nice very well drawn and. and... The animation's very fluid. I'm, I'm actually watching on Discord, so if I watch it on the stream, it'll probably look ten times better. Oh, I feel like that will get me killed if I go that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, this does look really good. Really fluid animation. Really nice. Yeah. I mean, this became a, a big series in its own right, Rayman. Yeah. Have maybe, you heard of it before, yeah. Will? Or... I, I have heard of it, yeah. I never really played it i mean where was it first where did, was it it didn't really come out this this did it no although they had a the, the beta that's the pre-release was for snes yeah. um but yeah it was really oh, okay so i've obviously botched that um yeah it was really the playstation one where it got popularized it came out on jaguar ps1 and saturn and then mm -hmm. rayman 2 was big on n64 and dreamcast uh, I don't know, that might have come out on um, PS1. I think it came out on PS2 later as well. So, yeah, so it kind of it really hit mainstream when it hit those platforms. Like, this version wouldn't have done well because it was on the Jaguar. I mean, the Jaguar only sold something like 80,000 units. Oh, okay, that's mm. an enemy. I thought that might have been a power-up. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, this to pick up Oak City uh, and what they're saying, this is a good game. Yeah. How does it feel? Responsive? Yes, it does. It doesn't. It's going to sound um, like I'm dissing the Jaguar beyond belief, but it doesn't feel like a Jaguar game <laughs> because you know, like the controller, yeah, is responding the way you'd expect it to in a good platformer. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely, definitively the best one, best actual game I mean, I've played. It's one that I'd actually spend some time with and and enjoy playing. I think. I think that you know, like thinking about it, the Jaguar, like it it, 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 it was marketed wrong. It, it was it was kind of like a bit, bit of a con, but at the same time, it did have some good stuff on it. And I think like it was just hyped up too much, so the expectations are really too high. Yeah, I mean to call but, it sixty-four bit back then. Yeah, that, well, that sort of stuff. But you know, it's got a great port of Doom. This looks really, really good. Alien vs Predator is not would have been great for the time. Let's let's face it; it's not yeah. great now, but for the time, it would have been really, really good. You know, um, there's lots of games on here that maybe we, we we would look at and go, no, it's not great. But for the time, you would have played it and liked it. Like it's like that. Like I said the other day, it's like these games they may have been crap to look at now but you played it until it was good like i like super mm. hide light that's that's basically unplayable really yeah <laughs> like um but i liked it back in the day so if i can like that i would have liked a lot of games we played tonight to be fair yeah even even the even the, the lion head piece of crap game that we saw earlier <laughs> i probably would have liked that too yeah i do want to play a bit more of that um, mm. I want to practice on it's, stream. Get it's, good. It made me. It, it definitely. <laughs> I, if something like that can make me laugh that much, then um, then you know, it's, it's it's got the seal of approval for me. I think it's hilarious to be fair. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I love your like, reaction to it. And mine, I was honestly like just in hysterics seeing that. It was so funny. I'm like, gonna quickly look at the Discord because I'm interested to see what people have posted about that. I think they've just screenshotted our reaction from it. Something. Yeah. If there's anything um, super hilarious, let me know, and I'll embed it into the stream as well for everybody. Oh god, to see. yes, the, yeah. Uh, oh my, oh my god, yes. This, this, is, is it worth me having a peek in the Discord in a moment? It sounds like it is. <laughs> it's quite good, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Oh, I, like, I, I do like the uh, Tom Will Tuesday logo there. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Oh, looking forward to seeing that. I really, honestly, like massively appreciated that seeing that done. It was one of those. Yeah, it looks, where it's it looks like, great. Okay, so it's not just me and Will chatting away having a laugh like people are genuinely getting into yeah this and, right. well as i said you know it's becoming a community and they're coming on the journey with us playing the games the journey, wanted. The journey. it all sounds very uh yeah like i'm hyping it up but it's a bit like that this journey through these weird wacky bizarre games but this is a good one i'll definitely it's say that very much. Good. I've got to admit that I might, um, because I feel like it is a game people will have experienced before on the PS4. Yeah, I mean, there's there's more to be had when it comes to Jaguar. What, exactly. what else have we got? But this, but this has been good. Like like I said, I'm kind of, I'm stopping playing because I want to showcase more games on this occasion, yeah. rather than because I hate the game and I want an excuse to stop playing. Can, which can we get through? The it's, only, it's only half past seven, man. Do you reckon we can get through the whole library of games tonight? Uh, if we really wanted to, we probably could. Yeah. Um, I mean, just, just. I mean, if if we do like five minutes on each or something, um, yeah. I mean, because some of them really do. there isn't very much to them. So yeah, I mean, okay. So look at what we've done so far. So we've done Alien vs <coughs> Predator, Rayman, Atari Karts, Trevor McFerrin, The Crescent. So we could try out. We'll try out this Dino Dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what this is going going to be. Um, Dino Dudes. Yeah, it's got a cool name. So I was like, I will like the name for this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I would, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what it's got in store for us, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out. So, okay. Dino, Dino Dudes. dudes. they right. dudes and they're dinos. Right. Pentaco, start a game, that's awful. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's, that's not too bad. You've got like so a far, uh, definitely... <laughs> yeah, below Megadrive quality, beach. I'd say. Yeah, it's all kind of like uh, Amiga-looking games. It is, yeah, but not the good Amiga games either. But no. just the... Because Amiga had some, you know, genuinely good games. Um, yeah, I do really kind of feel feels like... a bit, It feels a bit like Me Too, doesn't it, the Jaguar? It's like they go, oh, we can do what the SNES does. We can do what the Mega Drive does. We can do what the Amiga does. Is this Lemmings? I wish it was Lemmings. Yeah, no, it's not Lemmings, unfortunately. It's, it's, uh, I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. 
I think I think it is like it's it's a Lemmings claim. Do you know what? Uh, some some of these some of these um, these uh, Jacko games piss me off a little bit. Like, <laughs> I, love like, it. I really feel when, when like when you start talking like that because you're such a chill guy. When you start going, these Jaguar games piss me off. That's what they I do know a little about. bit. It's kind of like like you, like they market it. And they really hype it up in the adverts and all the kids. I feel sorry for the kids that got this. But the Magma Jaguar wasn't cheap. When it came out, was it how much? I bet it was like four hundred quid or something ridiculous. Yeah, well, I think it would have been a couple of hundred at least. I'm yeah. going to swap out of this because I yeah, can't work out what to do. I feel like I could probably suss it out, but I don't feel like there's a, an amazing masterpiece of a game underneath no. for us to discover. Uh, so when I tried out Fight for Life, uh, that game wouldn't run earlier. So oh, that's a shame. Well, I might try it in my. You know, I said I had like a, a backup Jaguar emulator. Um, for occasions yeah. where one didn't work. I'll try it in the backup emulator. Uh, and that's something just to let people be aware too. Um, when yeah. it comes to running Jaguar games on a PC, your mileage is really going to vary. Uh, it's not going to be anything it's, like it's really uh, when you're doing yeah something like playing Super Mario World on an emulator or whatever it might be. Uh, it's I think it's because <laughs> people just don't care enough about the Jaguar to work on emulators. And so, no, yeah, no, maybe one or two not. people will do it and... And that's it. Uh, Chuck Rock. Uh, is, is that on the Jaguar? Uh, just Google the uh, what the Jaguar... You don't know what the Jaguar was? You missed out. Uh, you maybe did miss out. Uh, <laughs> is that the controller looks too much? Does it have a calculator on it? Man, the Jaguar controller is just... You had to, you had to have a, uh, a cardboard overlay to tell you what each button in the game does so basically the game would come with a cardboard overlay you put where the calculator buttons are and it would tell you what to do i have there's thousands of buttons on it it's really flipping weird but i'll give you a quick uh demonstration of it you see that thing on the right there with all the buttons that's which the one's the console controller. Which one? they it's both so look bad. like consoles um yeah. any possibilities that you gents might get your hands on a uh ouija, ouija board <laughs> um, I always think that's pronounced Oya, but I'm not sure. Oya? Oh, yeah? uh, it's wait, pretty mind. unlikely. Um, having oh. said that, if people have uh, any hardware they want us to cover on the channel, then mm. drop us a direct message, oh, uh, preferably on Discord. Yes, then, do that. Yeah, we can get it arranged, mail it to us, and then we'll, scouts on our fingers crossed, we'll mail it back after oh. doing a stream. Like, really open Oh my to god, it. what the hell are you playing? Oh, well, clearly it's a masterpiece. I've got the sound. What's it fight it for life? That's terrible text. I can't even read that. Like, well, I didn't hear it, but I, you know, I had trouble. Hang on, Will. We'll just give it a minute to hear the soundtrack. Um, you might need to. In fact, if you go on the stream, Will, you'll be able to hear it. Let's give it a couple of minutes because it sounds pretty hilarious. Okay. 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 It's a bit of a delay on the stream. Hold up. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. I swear a minute ago it was doing some vocals and then when I went to you, oh yeah, listen to yeah, the music. That's when they seem I'm, to stop. I'm, I'm listening to it now. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this game is. It's like, like doing a flipping mental drum solo. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the game is like glitching out now. Like I was saying about really? the mileage will vary. Are there any like marijuana leaves in the background? Yeah, I don't think uh, the game's going to work. Okay, I'll try begin game down the bottom. It's really weird that the actual game didn't crash it, but the menu did. No, it always, it always okay. freaks me oh, out. Oh, it is oh, okay. oh my goodness, this is this bad. This looks terrible. Oh my god. Did you take him in the face and let his blood square? <laughs> I think happened? so, yeah. Oh, it's, look, it's like it's awful. Virtual Fighter, the worst version. Oh man, can you imagine having a, a friend who had a Saturn in Virtual Fighter? And then them going, yeah, you've got nothing that can measure up. And you go, well, I've got fight for life. And then going around the house and playing this. It's so awful. I want to talk Street Fighter. I want to fight for life. You should come around and play it sometime. Yes. You're all right, man. I can't believe people defend the Jaguar as well as being like a really good platform. I suppose, like, in terms of the power of the system, it was okay. Like it's, it's because it's because kind of like when you don't play something for a long time, 
you get a, get kind of like a nostalgic love for it more than. But when you play it again, you kind of like, oh, maybe it's not that great. But then, you, but then when it's sitting there in your house and it looks cool in the box and stuff, you've got all the games lined up and they all look really cool and you've got the all pristine condition. That's when it's cool. But it's until you boot the thing up and play it, you're like. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's got to listen to that back. She goes, oh yeah! I'm sort of chugging on the spot. I have to listen to that back. That's so funny. Um, look, Sega, we can Tekken 2. <laughs> Plague's Mondo Sticky Ball, or Plague's Mondo Sticky Balls, epic game. My cousin has a complete Gizmondo collection, unfortunately. Um, if I saw, if I saw Will in the line costume of this world, I would flip. <laughs> Donation? <That's> great. <laughs> Violent button mashing fighting game, my favourite. And this one is a genuine button masher. So something like Tekken or Virtual Fighting, you have to. This yeah, you only get so far, but but you can tell I'm like barely concentrating on it. Ah, oh, it's just bad, man. It is really bad. I mean, what's the background about? They tried. I think that's an emulation. I just noticed glitch. the background. Yeah, just, it's just like a, a glitch of pixels. But I think that's an that emulation like, problem. I can't imagine that that's how it's meant to look. I bet it is. I bet that's how it's meant to look. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's so funny. Check your moves. <laughs> chop kick. Oh wait, hang on. What's this? Select your moves. Chop kick. Oh, you get to. Select a move? <coughs> I'm not really bothered about getting a new move, I just want to laugh at the animations. That's so yeah. funny, like running on the spot like that. Let me see if I can... Um, Imagine if you, if you got in a street fight. I can't even do that without that getting so to the bad. webcam or breaking my computer. Oh dear. So that was Fight for Life. That was an experience. It certainly felt like I felt for my life watching you play that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that man. wasn't good. Yeah, oh man. That was so the thing is, sometimes like I'm like, yeah, the Jaguar is, you know, when I play, saw Rayman, I was like, yeah, the Jaguar, you know, it's not too bad. And then it's sort of like you play something like that, and I kind of just feel like there must have been some poor kid out there that had that as the first game they bought for it. Mm. And just felt like they had been completely ripped off. Yeah. So yeah. NBA Jam is just like it is on SNES and Mega Drive. There's very really? little difference, yeah. Well, I'll load it up quickly just to demonstrate that it exists. Yeah, just, just show me, because like, um, I, I never had either of them on Mega Drive or oh, SNES. Really? I, never had, I never had it, but it's a really iconic game. But That's right. Yeah, it is a good it, one, in fairness. So does it just, does it run a bit faster? Or? 3D sound. Uh, a few more colours, I think, and that's probably about it. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, I this, this was actually... In fairness, it was a good game, and I don't like sports games, but this one was good. No, I'm not. We don't like sports, do we, Tom? We're just no. great. Sports is what the cool kids did, and yeah, I was the cool kids, so I couldn't do sport. What, what, what is a sport? Well, obviously, esports is the greatest sport of all. Playing Atari Jaguar games to the highest possible level, I think that's, that's my sport, isn't it? form of sport, yeah. Yeah. Just realised I've got. Um, Whoa, they've got, they got giant heads. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I, I can't remember their heads being this big. Has it always been like that? I think they. I don't think they were quite that size. I can't remember how to yeah, play now. It's been I, so many I years. Don't, I don't. No, no, no. Their, their heads are massive. What's that about? Where's well, the show? I swear. who the players are, isn't it? Yeah, but that's stupid. Yeah, it is. It's kind of almost <laughs> like an anime. Uh, yeah, sort of deformed look, isn't it? It's like 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 Donkey Kong mode out of uh, Street uh, out of uh, Goldeneye. Yeah. I never knew their heads were that big. I mean, it's, it's, it looks like, a, like I've never really played uh, NBA Jam, which yeah. is a really bad thing to say. I feel like but, this is um, probably enough to show on this occasion. It's it's one where like um, I think we'd have the most fun if you and I, when we're allowed to hang out in person, play it together. Yeah. That would yeah, be the time to cool. play it. I, I would have carried on, but it's just the thing is, there's really no point because it's the same as it is on other platforms and we really yeah, want to get to the distinctive Jaguar stuff. So yeah. this one here, Supercross 3D, I've heard is really, really bad. So I think that's all the more reason to give it a go, isn't it? So let's so check out video, what that is. Uh, check the video that supposedly was recorded with a real Jaguar. The non-glitch backgrounds aren't much better. Oh, okay. <laughs> sports games is not really my cup of tea. Uh, why can't you just play sport outside? I, I agree oh, man, completely. Man, this is bad already. Okay, I'm going to try practice. Oh, look, that is quite cool. GB. Been... That's good. They've represented our country very well. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if you can see it, Will, but the frame rate is so low. It's so low. I can. So I can, low. I can. Oh, dear. 
I feel like I'm just going to play a little bit of this and it'll be too painful to carry it's, on. It's interesting to see, but like the thing is that Jack, there is crashed. a reason. Oh, it hasn't crashed. Oh my goodness. Oh. Bro, if this looks bad on oh. Discord, it, it looks just as bad. <laughs> oh, it's so oh bad. Oh my god. It's awful. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> wow, look at the crowd! <laughs> Sorry, it's too funny. Where are you? Oh, wait, oh, there I am. This is like a big room, a little bit. Look at it. Look at the crowd. Yeah. Can you, you imagine going like, the... um, oh, mum, dad, you know, I really want to get a next gen system <laughs> and anything out of it, mate. Oh, man, it just gets worse the more can, you, can you, can you, can you, Tom, try and play it properly. I am, I am trying to play it properly. And I'm normally, no, really? I'm normally not You're bad not. at games. You, must, you can't be. Yeah, honestly. You can't, you can't. Honestly, Where are you? I was you? trying to steer and stuff. Okay, <laughs> really? I'm gonna, I have to restart the game to see if I can get Like, like really, really try and totally play it. Stuck. Try and, try and play it like you I were. I was, like, I actually was. No, you weren't. I, honestly, you weren't. You couldn't have been. Okay, I'm going to try race mode. Right, let's do the race, because that's the proper game. That was just, like, practice. <laughs> yeah. Which looked really, which looked really oh, hard. Oh, look at it. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, right, just, just take your time, right? Take your time. You have to go to I'm practice. I'm getting flashbacks to playing um, Sonic on the GBA. Yeah. In terms of, like, just how comically bad. Right, 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 right. So you take your time, right? Think. Okay. I'll, I'll right. go straight to race. Okay, yeah. so... Deep breath. There you are. D forking. D fork forking. Fuck fork. Okay. Yeah, bit, a bit of bad language. Yeah. Oh, ready? I don't know. Oh. Oh, you screwed up already. Right, that's it. I wait it. this way. Okay. Okay. So if I stop hitting accelerate, oh no. Oh, oh no. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, oh, is it gonna let me up the ramp? Yep, yeah, just about. Oh man. <laughs> I can't believe they actually released this. You just drive Dang. through the dirt, the big dirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you just go through things. That's not me playing badly. That's that's what happens. There's like, oh, look, they've just stayed in the same place. <laughs> what is going on? And now it won't let me go left. <laughs> and now we're driving into the crowd. <laughs> well, this has definitely changed my opinion of the Jaguar. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, that is so funny. This right, well, so that's that, horrible, that's that man, game. That's so done. bad. Oh, no. Running on, <laughs> running buttery smooth five frames per second. Yeah. Tom, are you enjoying this right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, getting fierce. I am. I can't <laughs> believe that. Oh, man. So, and everyone was still just standing there, like, what? what? Yeah. So, right. what's yeah. next? What's your, that, take on that the, was uh, what's your take on the Jaguar so far then? <laughs> I, I think there's, there's there's some there's some good ports on there, but the thing is though, like that's just stuff the Jackie was nicked and just stuck on there and said, yeah, this is our stuff too. Like Doom, uh, Pitfall, um, NBA Jam, Zool Two, any of us, and Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, we haven't played Wolfenstein yet, but that's yeah, just a port that, though. That, that just seemed to load just, when I was doing it. I might have a bad you know, version there, but again, I really hope. It's one of those oh, this like, one! Why would you this one? play it now? You know, because you'd play the PC instead. Uh, need a review of the Jaguar video. Do you mean, Dragon John, that we should do a kind of a... Yeah, like a well-produced documentary of sorts. Uh, detailing really? the Jaguar and... Like some other YouTubers do. Because that's not really normally what's been done on the channel. What? But I haven't said that. You know, I'm open to it. It's just... You know, it's a, a bit of a departure, isn't it? This oh, just okay. perfectly isn't too bad like it actually looks quite good like when when, when the angry video game nerd reviewed this he made it look better than it is yeah he like, did didn't he? he he did like he was trying to it's not good man it's like i don't know i'm i'm, I'm sort of in two minds about it i really want to like it but there's yeah. so it, it feels like a con it feels like a bit of a con uh 10 out of 10 game big rigs has a competitor <laughs> need to review jaguar video um, yeah, that, that's what I was oh. saying about. It. Is that what he was after? Like a yeah, sort of all out there 
proper review. I think that's kind of what he what he means to do a, a system overview. And it would be it would be cool to sort of actually. But the thing is, though, this, I think I think a review is what we're kind of doing now. You you're not going to get as a real reaction to this as much no. as we're doing now. The authenticity like, if, here is it's all real. We, you this know, is like the first time we've seen it, and it's so stupid. Yeah, but. We're, Kind of like if I do a review of it, it's like the second time I've seen it now, and it's like you know, it won't be as won't be as uh, legitimate. I can't believe that that that's that's so bad that that uh, motorbike game. But I, I thought honestly, I thought, it's worse than I thought it was going to be. I knew I'd heard of that game, and I knew it I couldn't was believe meant to be it. bad. Well, you you knew it was meant to be bad, but yeah, but I didn't know it's that bad. Like so bad. I'm gonna quit out there purely because I couldn't quite work out what I was doing. That game is really, really hard to play. That game is like the the, the concept behind it is ridiculous. You have to sort of like you, you've seen the yeah, I've seen, the, um, I've seen a couple it. of videos. That one, I think I saw. I think Game like, Sack, another to... channel, might have covered it at some point. Um, yeah, it's it's really yeah. it's really weird. But yeah, I think if we, did, if we did if we did like a structured review of the Jaguar, it wouldn't be as legitimate as we are now. Yeah, because like. It, this is just like how we're seeing it for the first time, and this is flipping. Sort of, I can't believe that that you have to pay money to play that yeah. sort of thing. They should be paying you to play it. Oh yeah, a like tier list of Jaguar games. games. So that's that's a good idea. A that tier list. Really we can sort of have little clips of the stream and say, look, this is terrible, and you can see how we thought about this. And this is where it gets on our list because this is our graphic. We, you know, see our reaction for this game, and you can see how bad it was. Right. My, uh, my deciding factor would be. You stop. Oh, I can't work out how to accelerate. Well, we just like. <laughs> you just like. Ex I think that's probably. It's the like exploded out of the back of your car. I don't think you meant to go this quick. You're normal. This is so bad, too. It looks like virtual racing. I mean, every cars, it doesn't cars go like fast, but not that fast. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man, that's and you hit a car. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, the janky one. Yeah, I think if I was Stop to do a proper, uh, if I was to do a full review video, um, what I'd need is an actual Jaguar, so I could capture yeah. it from actual. What in your house? house? An actual Jaguar inside your house? That's to right. Do a review of this Preferably one with a really? spaceship that stuff. could fly around. That'd be even better if I could have that. If Trevor McFur could come <laughs> yeah. around my house, and I could Jaguar. interview him. <laughs> an actual Jaguar in a Colonel outfit inside <laughs> yeah. your house. Yeah. Yeah. We all need that, Tom. Uh, if that happens, well I will definitely be interviewing the uh, yeah the the colonel and reviewing the Jaguar colonel system. So, uh, a nice pole uh, position. Uh, no game gets above a C plus. No, no, no. Do Doom will get the A because Doom Doom yeah. is good. No, Doom will get a B because it doesn't have any music and Doom music is sick. Mm. So like it needs that, but like like. I really hope Doom works because we have to play that last because, like, yeah, it's like the palette cleanser, isn't it? To make best, an impression. Play, yeah, say because apparently that is the best console port of Doom, but it just doesn't have yeah. music, which is, a, which is a shitty thing. But like, like, it's, isn't it weird that it, it does so poorly at doing just some sort of some sort of side scrollers, but it can yeah. run Doom better than any other console? It's I think really it, strange. It just shows the programming. Um, yeah, mm. ability of the people that made it because you've got what's actually quite a powerful system. When we broke down mm. the specs, it was like, okay, you know, the the Saturn or the PS1 would mop the floor of it, but it's still like we're still talking about four or five times the speed of the SNES or the Mega Drive easily, um, but just very difficult to program for. And you can see where the good developers, right? I'm going to stop now because that's just yeah, this is okay. Where it isn't actually any fun, and if I'm not having fun playing it, it's probably no fun to watch. Either. Yeah, that's. A bit yeah. bland. Um, I've got a local. Uh, I've got a local seller. You might be interested in the Isle of Wight, based but uh, uh, based in the Isle of Wight, but uh, but a great guy. Uh, Will, how's the Doom Two video coming on? It's going good, man. Um, I've literally li literally filmed everything. I've got everything filmed now. There might be a few little things extra I need to film, but I've got everything done. Save from that as one big file. Then I'm going to chop it up, uh, and I'm really kind of sad that I finished it and I don't know what to do next. I do not know, I don't know whether to do anything next after that one. So I don't have a thing. I've got things to do in the meantime off to prepare to do it for a cardboard video if I decide to do it, but they're so hard to make, man. I am, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uncertain. Have you looked at AVP yet? Yes, we have. 
and it was uh, it was mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> um, just on your uh, cardboard stuff, Will, I reckon you should um, give yourself almost like a sabbatical for a, a month yeah. or so. Yeah, I'll do. I'll, I will do that. Decide. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a really intricate cardboard set. I'm really going to go to town, making everything super detailed and cardboard, but look cardboard but really detailed so you know there'll be a clock that will work but it's made out of cardboard there'll be a window with animated rain out of cardboard there'll be <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just, I'm, did, did you see I'm that go, it came up if i died and it just came up at the bottom you are useless <laughs> you can talk jaguar <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> i've been insulted yeah, okay. by the jaguar this basic game yeah. at least runs a good speed doesn't look much of a race it just looks like virtual racing which you can play on this on the mega drive yeah. No school FPS boost every time you're under an underpass. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Why was the yet you're useless? Okay, this game just isn't very fun so far. Like no, I know what Defender is. It kind of it kind of looks like a flash game. Yeah, like, but not as good. <laughs> you could just like boot up on you know. Imagine spending like fifty is, or sixty quid on this. Yeah, there's there's a few it's things crazy. wrong with this. First off. You move too fast, so you get hit too easily. Um, the view, the amount of view you've got on the screen is so limited that enemies just fly on from nowhere and you instantly die with no ability to avoid them. That's where the problem is. So, like, you can see there that enemy. I was really lucky not to hit that. But, yeah, it's just, it's just not good, man. I mean, it's, uh, again, why would you play this when you could go onto the Mega Drive and play... Thunder Force 4, or you could go on the snares and play R-Type 3. You That's it, man. You just play those better shooters. That's it. Uh, what do you plan to do if you decide to uh, stop with the cardboard once Doom 2 is up? I haven't got a clue, man. I've been working on Doom 2 for nine months now, and I've treated this this one as the last one I'll do, and uh, I, I don't know what... I, I need to stay creative. I've got to stay creative. But I don't know. I, I don't want to go back to being an artist. I don't. Not, I do not want to do that. And uh, I can't think of what else to do other than to make more games out of cardboard. I'm starting to get kind of like, even though I've finished Doom Two now, like finished all the filming, I've got still got the fix to make things. So I do have some unfinished business, but I'm not. I need to take some time out. So what I'm going to do is finish Doom Two, and then take maybe build a new cardboard set or something. And if I and if I feel like going back to it after I've made finished making the set, I'll start. I'll, I'll do. I'll do that that thing I need to do. But I need to wait and figure out what I'm gonna do. It's 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 just kind of like I've got to stay creative and I can't not be creative. So I've got to carry on. This game looks alright. Uh, Defender was an old arcade uh, Atari arcade game. Yes, yeah, it was. That's right. I, I would totally support you on live streams. Totally. Thank you so much. That's really, really cool to say. Cool. I think I, I'm going to keep on doing live streams. Obviously, I really, I really, really, really enjoy these. These are great fun because this is just me and Tom playing games and you guys come around for the ride and it's just really fun to do that. And like, um, and it creates more memories for me, which is great <laughs> because like I had a very... Oh, this is bad. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh man. But yeah, I, I had a limited amount of games I played, so I want to kind of expand on games that I missed out on. So live streaming is a, is a good way to do that. <laughs> Holy oh shit! Gosh. <laughs> oh, I think the game crashed what? there. Because it's just frozen now. Oh. But I'm not particularly you worried. Like, this is like 3D Micro Machine. I'll try and restart again to see if it... I might try that second emulator no. as well. Yeah, it's it's bad, man. It's bad. Um, I think my, uh, my greatest achievement on streaming has been getting you playing some new games, Will. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I love cool. it, man. And I like how you're like forming a tap. Yeah, it just crashes out. It's the emulator. That's, 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 that's a shame. That's a shame. That looks yeah. amazing. I feel like what if, you do if we have time, we might play. Um, try that again in the other emulator, but I'll push on to the next game. Sorry, Will, you're about to say something. Um, just reading comment. the comments. Uh, I can't believe it's been nine months, and yet you remain creative, even though another way would be heartbreaking to see you uh, leave games behind. I won't. I won't leave bad games behind. It's just the fact um, streaming for me that like this sort of stream is good because kind of like whenever I play games that I love from my past, 
especially if I make them out of cardboard, it kind of erases the past from the present, which I don't want to do. But at the same time, like I just love to be creative. So I, I, I do want to continue with doing it, but I need to take a break. I've got to take a break because otherwise you just wipe yourself out and it just it, it becomes more of a job than, a, than something really fun and, and uh, what it is I like to do. So I've got to take a break after the do too and, and get those creative juices flowing again. Uh, Tom, uh, Tom, we, uh, what do you do as an artist? I worked as a graffiti artist, like graffiti artist, street artist, whatever you want to call it. But I got quite good at, I got quite well known as, a, as an artist, but I gave it up <laughs> to do YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, it was, it was, um, you know, it was, it was fun while it lasted. But I don't do some stuff to kind of like get noticed or, you know, to get fame for anything. It's just to get for, for the fun of it. And the thing is of art, it just wasn't fun anymore. It just became a bit like it just wasn't fun. So quit if it's not fun, basically. Uh, Tom, we need to know how they ruined my boy Raiden. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, Raiden was what I had because I had this as a kid. I actually had Raiden on cartridge, so that's one I've this got a bit of nostalgia for. Yeah, we'll, we'll play that next. This is just uh, this is what you see is what you this get. Is really, terrible. This, this is as bad as it looks. It's like a really really poor 2D fighter. <laughs> And again, this it's like, why game. would you play this when you can play this is, this is, uh, Street Fighter on one of those rival game systems? I mean, Street Fighter 2 looks so much better than this. In fact, to give a bit of uh, context to it, the PC Engine version, bearing in mind that had an 8-bit processor, Street Fighter 2 on PC Engine was a million times better than this. Don't you think, Will? Like, you saw that and you were like, oh, it looks just like the SNES one and it looks really good. And then you've got this on the Jaguar. It's like, oh, it's no wonder this system didn't do well. Absolute like fish. Uh, I get Sorry, that. I'm going to stop this now because it's just like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, find I'd, some, I'd yeah. rather play any other 2D fighter, I think. I'll catch up with, with yeah. the chat. Um, I get that it's here as mates, but you should definitely have the option on supporting. You say, it's cool, man. I mean, like, I've got a job. Tom's got a job. We, we can support ourselves. We don't want to take your money. That's, yeah. that's that's very kind, but like we, we just we we've got our we've got our jobs at the moment. <laughs> yeah, for now. And, uh, <laughs> and but like, uh, you know, bring. We, we prefer to sort of like just. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm making a little bit of money on YouTube, and that's fine. I'd rather just get it from rather I'd rather than taking from people, which I don't really want to do. Well, I don't want to do that. So please don't 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 do no. It's just like we're just here as a bit of fun. This is just fun. We, we you know people say kind of like you stream and it's kind of like you're getting like free content and stuff like which is fine but this is just fun for me and tom isn't it this is yeah, just, like, it. just like sitting around playing games this is what we did in the past we did that for free we're doing this for free screw <laughs> it <laughs> having, having <laughs> said all of that, the day. like one hmm? thing one thing i would always take and i'll just um mute this volume a minute because it goes a bit louder in this i've had to switch to the other em emulator again uh yeah if anyone had an actual jaguar then, you know, that is something where I'd be like, yeah, we'd, we'd happily take that, do a stream and then send it back to you. So, yeah, yeah. if you want to support cool, the channel, yeah. the way to do it would be send in uh, any really weird track. stuff you've got. Like, that's really helpful because obviously for anything, yeah, that I've used on here, I've bought it from my own money, which is limited. And like the Jaguar, for example, I wasn't going to go out and buy a Jaguar to stream but that actually for me would be more helpful than anything else i'd say i actually i actually have minus money in my bank account at the moment really <laughs> oh, <man>. yeah <laughs> but, it, but it's all right though I'm, no, don't, don't worry about me hmm. did you ever try pencil whipped maybe you could team up with a programmer that makes video games using cardboard as graphics and stop motion cardboard version of claymation games like never mind that could be cool um i'll just wait for them to contact me <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, if you want to, if you want to hook us up, that's cool. I, 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 I'm just enjoying what I'm doing at the moment, man. I, I sort of, I love to do my own thing and just sort of wait for good things to happen if they ever happen. If they don't, that's that's all good. Yeah, keep the streams going whenever you have the time for it. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We're in lockdown, so we're all good. Yeah, I've got to admit, it's much better than just playing games on my own, yeah. which is what I would be doing right now. Like, if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be. Well, Just people on Discord own. probably see it come up that I play games quite a lot anyway. Um, yeah. I'd much rather be doing it on a stream, hanging out, having a chat, having some lols yeah. and, and making something as well. So, yeah, definitely keeping the streams going. 
Wait, up. is this Double Dragon? I think that's the last we were missing. Uh, Double Dragon, the cartoon game? Yeah, that, that's, that's right, yeah. Yeah, it was really bad. I think the um, really bad. I think there are better versions of it. I think the Neo Geo has got a, a good rendition of that particular game. Um, Jaguar? Yeah. More like Chunkular? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so true. Oh, oh yes, oh, hearing killed. you mention... Yeah, hearing you mention YouTube money reminds me uh, I should turn off the ad blocker for your videos. Oh. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it, dude. Please keep your ad blocker on. You get to watch all these shitty adverts like, yeah, man, Dollar Shave Club, and all this old absolute dog <laughs> shit thing comes on. Yeah, put ad blocker on. Keep it up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I name dropped Tex of Black Pants Legion in the past. He has the same feelings about YouTube. He has a job. Uh, his YouTube content is a hobby. Monetization would take uh, a bit away from his career process. Absolutely, Tex is a fantastic guy. Tom, you've got to talk with Tex. Yeah, I must meet him. I feel like you've hyped he him up. Has, uh, much he like has, the Jaguar was hyped up. Mate, he I'm has I'm hoping he's not voice. like a, he's not like he the Jaguar the, equivalent of a person. He sounds. He sounds oh. like he's a. Like, I can't do Tex's voice, but it's the coolest voice in the world, and it's, he sounds so. We 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 got does stream sometimes. We go on his streams, but. Tell Tex I'm thinking about him. He's a cool guy, man. And he always bigs me up when he goes on his streams all the time. So here's my chance to big Tex up. Go and, and subscribe to the Black Pants Legion. They're a cool bunch. They're flipping cool guys, man. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Even the name is awesome. Black Pants Legion. That's such a cool name. I don't know yeah, anything about the channel. I'm going to check it out after this. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's it, such man. a cool name. Well, and, set, and tell him I sent Ooh. you. Because Usually he sends all his stuff to me, so let's try and send my stuff to him. My guys, you guys. Looks like the Jaguar had a very loose third party publishing deals, like yep. the 3DO, mm -hmm. uh, with loads of real crappy ports of mediocre games, where the 3DO had some fantastic third party games. Yeah. Uh, this is a complete insult for the Raiden franchise. <laughs> 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 Largely because. Uh, largely because to monetize, you must confirm to YouTube consistent shifting standards. This is why I want to keep a job, because I can't be bored with YouTube being an idiot all the time. Just keep a job. Keep a job. But the thing is, though, there's plenty of people that I know of uh, that are fantastic content creators that do rely on YouTube as an income source. And honestly, man, like, however you want to play it, it's absolutely fine. If you want to sort of do videos and uh, sort of do... Uh, um, uh, advertising to, uh, to keep yourself going, to keep your, your content going. It's, that's how you want to do it. That's fine. It's whatever. It's just um, for me, my personal thing is kind of like I'd rather get straight to my video rather than uh, talk about Raid Shadow Legends or something yeah. like that you know, at the start. But, it, that, but it's just it's just the way you want to do things. If you want to put all your effort into making videos and stuff rather than having a job that tie you down, I completely understand that. I mean, ideally, I, I really understand that to be fair. Um, I'll give a quick, because... uh, before I switch to the next game, I'll give a quick rendition of what was weird about this one. So firstly, <laughs> you see that border on the right? That yeah. makes it so difficult to play because you can barely see all the enemies yeah. on the screen. So they're flying from yeah. nowhere. Uh, secondly, there's no auto fire. I mean, that oh, yeah, it's no. necessarily just this version, but you have to keep spamming the button. Now, when you oh, play it on the yeah. PC engine, yeah, you obviously you've got auto fire built in. And I think on... I can't remember what it's got on Mega Drive, but it, I just remember it being so much easier to play on the Mega Drive. So it felt like a very, very uh, dumbed-down version of the game. I think the best version was on the PS1, from memory of, of Raiden. But yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a great version. But then, as far as the Jaguar goes, that was probably one of the Jaguar's better games. <laughs> which is quite... Um... It says something about the, uh, the level of quality, doesn't it, really? Which is a real shame. When are you going to get a, when you get a sponsor of Raid Shadow Legends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same but, day but, that uh, we get taken I, I, over by Screenwave Media, I think. I haven't got an email from them yet about like, do, but do these advertisers, they say, right, okay, when you do a video about us, you've got to make us look good. You've got to say that you'd like us. Is that how they can, I, I've never been privileged. Can, can you imagine if that wasn't the case and you could go on and just like completely diss them? Yeah, and then get paid with my money. Yeah, with my money. Personally, I never played the fucking thing, but like, uh, you know, <laughs> no, just do it. And but like, I warning, warning, never buy it. You'll buy, it, you'll, you'll you'll play the game, and then they'll try and make you pay for stuff. Don't do that. Just delete it. And just, yeah. just uh, have a beer. <laughs> or something like that. Um, 
Uh, you Google currency rates once all your ads become time is money. Watch me take out my my Audi and buy my. Sorry, I'm going to really read this again because I've probably drunk too much gin. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, forget your uh, your drinking away. I mean, that's I'm drinking hope the, with the, these visuals. To be fair, the, 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 yeah, but we are playing Atari. This this, this terrible is Tom. This is, is this Dracula really. the Bruce Lee story? It's really grainy. It really it's is. Awful. It's awful. It's awful. It's awful. It looks the horrifically film is weird bad as well. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is another one for me to very quickly stop playing. Yeah. Like just, there's just nothing really of interest to see. Apart from I just feel really sorry for these animations. kids. I feel sorry for these kids that just spent saved up and saved up and probably did yeah. like uh, and probably did like um, I don't know, mowing people's lawns to get like two pounds or something to save up and save up and save up and they take all their money and go to a shop and buy this and yeah. then go. What have I done? Um, you Google currency rates once all your ads become time is money. Watch me take out all my my Audi and buy my book and clothing line and become rich like me. Remember it yeah, is just in the mind. <laughs> Oof, step down the raiding graphics to fit the Jaguar. Also looks like it feels very unresponsive. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't... To be fair, it was responding to my inputs, but... The problem was my view was so awful that you couldn't really dodge or play it normally. So a shooter like that, you need to be able to see what you're doing. That whole kind of the screen all moving as I move made it virtually, yeah, like far harder than any other version of it. Um, I'm going to try this one, Super Burnout. I've heard this is another one that's actually, it's a bit like Hang On from what I've heard and isn't oh. a complete abomination. Got to, got to remember, people like Mr. Beast, etc. Uh, ad, ad spot is 70 to 100k, which is crazy. My friend, uh, Elliot from the Retro Future, did a, uh, a little video with Mr. Beast, which is pretty damn cool. That's cool. But yeah, he makes a lot of money on YouTube. He's like kind of like one of the, the high tier creators of YouTube now. Um, he's he, he, But he puts the money from his ad revenue into making videos, which is pretty cool. I think he's, he seems like a nice guy, to be fair. Uh, a game YouTuber got an email to advertise Microsoft once and he asked for what they want him to do and he just said, do your thing. So I gave a critique about somebody at five immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Raid, Raid Shadow Shave Club featuring Raycon Shark VPN box. <laughs> Uh, look at what uh, look at what I sent you on Discord server. Holy shit! Oh yeah, I need to uh, check this out. I can't work out in case people are wondering oh. what's going on. I can't work out how to actually start oh, very the nice. game here. Like it looks very like nice it would be a good game, but I can't. Oh yeah, someone's asking how do I join the Discord. So if uh, yeah, say uh, Staircase uh, or, or Mecha Sonic or something, yeah, could someone, you could just could share someone it in the chat. The yeah, could someone drop the link down? That'd be really handy because then you can get we can all be a nice, lovely family. Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, we're two fathers to them, Will. You know, you and me, we're doing our best to steer them away from ever we, having to play the Jaguar. We're trying, man. Doing we're trying our, our best. Things like that, that never usually works, though, because kind of like, They're look rebel. at uh, ABGN when, you know, he, he, he pleaded with people not to play. He was tired and look what happened. Yeah, now here we are playing the Jaguar. Do. It, just, it doesn't work. Yeah. The more you yeah. hate on it, the, the, the better, the stronger it becomes. For uh, FWIW, uh, I, I I don't know the the uh, the terminology for what that. What was that one? FYI. F def no no FWIW. FWIW. Uh, for wacky uh, for uh, I I don't know. I don't mind sponsorship segments. Uh, no difference from commercials or on TV. You got to do. Uh, you got to. You've got to do what you need to pay the bills as long as the sponsor and the videos are discrete sections. Is for, for yeah, I mean, to pay the bills. That's it. Um, yeah, Bill has to pay the bills. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's down to it's down to the person. At the end of the day, like, it's, if you want to do it, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't bother yeah. me. That's you it. know, I, to, to be fair, like, I'll probably just skip it and just get to the, get to the content or something. You know, as long as you're getting paid. This isn't and running properly. Keep doing it, a friend of mine was was talking about maybe do, he was really not sure about doing like raid raid show legends. So I was like, just do it, 
just do it and get paid and keep on doing it. If it gives you money to do the great content that you do, just do it. Milk and flip and dry and get your content out, get your message across of what you want to talk about. Because like, you know, I can just skip through that crap and get to the real content. You know, screw it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I can see the arguments kind of both ways, really, in, mm. in terms of that. I feel like yeah. at this stage, I, I suppose the question would be, for you, for you, in terms of taking ad money, what would it allow you to do that you can't do already? And at the well, moment, it's probably not much, much, is it, really? I make, I, I make stuff out of cardboard. Yeah. I, 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 like, the whole skip at my work is full of cardboard, I'm sorted. It's just yeah. the printing that's the bastard, but the printing is like, it's not like, the, I mean, the money's a factor, but like, there was, I had this print store, and they, they had like, it was 60p a print for like, like super high quality printing. Oh, cool. But now it's closed down, so I'm going to have to get further afield, and printing can cost a lot, so I am worried about the next video. And that's why I thought, kind of like, this Doom 2 would be the last one, because my print store, because of COVID, is closed down. And I was like, hmm, it's kind of like a sign that got to maybe knock this in the head because my print store's closed down and that was cheap printing and now if I want to keep on doing it I've got to shell out the big bucks for printing. It's, it's just the way it goes, you know, if I want to carry on I might have to shell out some extra coin. Um, I'm sure we can find a solution, whether it's, yeah, um, you know, maybe, like I, I work in a college and I get um, 100 euros a year printing allowance, <laughs> for example, so if I go back I'll just go like, because I never, I don't use it at the moment because we're in Covid times, so I'm when serious. I'm teaching students. And how much is it, how much is it an A3 print? I can't remember, it's not much, like even in colour. No uh, way. Yeah, it, it's the kind of thing that would have made sense before, because I'd have students that would be in lectures that I was what? teaching, I'd have to give them handouts, but... I'm not doing any face-to-face -face teaching at the moment, and I've just got it, but the problem is I'd have to go and print it back in my office, and then I'd have to, uh, yeah, somehow ship it back to the UK, so well, it's probably not realistic, but I don't know, man, if, if that's ever an issue, um, finding mm. cardboard, have a chat to me about it as well, have a well, chat to Discord and we'll find yeah, a way, like some, yeah, somewhere I mean, we'll get some free printing, you know, we don't want if to see anybody wants to have gone. I think the main thing for this channel is not about money, it's not about um, anything like that. It's about printing. If anybody can know, knows anybody that can get hold of cheap printing, I will still pay for it, whatever it needs. But I just it just needs to be cheap, good quality printing. If someone knows a lead to that, please let me know because it's just good printers are hard to come by and unfortunately my printer is out of business now. They've been kicked out after 43 years. Of business, that sucks. COVID killed them. Yeah, I'm, I was really quite sad. They were, they were really sad. They're kind of like, but eh, I've been here for 43 years. I literally started here when I was 15 years old, Man. and I don't know like where I'm going next. And I, I, now I'm like in my six, I'm 60 something. I, and, like, I do actually know of a printer that's near to where you and I are both located that I've put you yeah. in touch with because my brother used to work there. Oh, that'd yeah. be great. So yeah, it's just so the be, drop, drop me a message, like, Will, and I'll set you up with that, because he's an old friend sweet. of mine, and I don't think they're just doing printing now as a company, I think they've moved on to web design as well. Uh, but Fantastic. yeah, they're located not far from where we are, so uh, realistically, you might have to take a drive out once we're allowed to, but yeah. No, definitely, to do it, so. um, I was about awesome. to say something, uh, the guys were saying that when they post the Discord link in the chat, uh, apparently it keeps disappearing. I think but it's probably strange. YouTube filtering. So yeah, I just saw a couple of comments yeah, in, the, uh, I, I, in the stream I, about that. Oh, Tempest 2000. This is a great game. It's uh, it's... Yeah, it holds up fairly well. I mean, it's not... Again, it's one of those where it's a fairly good game, but it also got ported to both the PlayStation and the Saturn. So there's really not a reason yeah. to keep a Jaguar around to play it anymore. But, oh, but you know, okay. it's, one, it's one of the better games. But, but I feel like it... that's one of the issues with Jaguar, is any good games got moved elsewhere and you can play them on other systems. So it but, kind of eliminates did, was, the need to have it. Was this a Jaguar exclusive? When it came out, it was. But it came out really? onto the uh, Saturn and PlayStation by about 95. The reason it was a, um exclusive was that the other platforms just didn't exist yet. Because we've got to yeah. remember this came out in 93 and then yeah. yeah playstation and saturn were 95 so you know it had that classic problem you'd always have if you release the system before the others then when the new systems come out they won't yeah your system won't measure up in terms of power i suppose a bit yeah. like um mega drive and snes 
uh, the Mega Drive wasn't as powerful as the Super Nintendo in certain areas. And that's yeah. because the Super Nintendo came out two or three years later. Um, well, or you could say uh, Dreamcast compared to Xbox or GameCube. PS2, I think, is a bit different because it almost yeah. was on par with the Dreamcast. But yeah, certainly the GameCube and Xbox were a lot more powerful. It's sad that the best ten- the, the Tempest game was. Uh, it's sad that the best Tempest game is the one of the uh, on the worst one of the worst consoles of all time. <laughs> yeah, it's I just, don't think. Uh, I was sorry. just gonna say it's so good that it ended up getting uh, ports to the. I think the Saturn one is actually slightly better than the um, one on the Jaguar. So that's probably the easiest way to play it today. And that's what I tend to do. If I fancy a bit of Tempest 2000, um, I just play the Saturn version. This bonus stage is always a bit weird. Um, I just saw there's another comment about Discord uh, from MJ's Two Cent about having a non-expiring link in the uh, description. Yeah, we'll make sure we action that. So whenever we put out the description yeah, the good screens, idea. we'll add that at the bottom. We do have that yeah. non-expiring link. So yeah, we'll make sure we get that to you so you can join in with us. Um, I don't think you guys do anything that isn't allowed on YouTube, but emulation might be a tricky subject, I guess. Yeah, occasionally. I mean, I, the thing is, if it's something like the Jaguar, I feel pretty confident that Atari isn't going to suddenly rise from its grave and then sue me for it. But there are times where I, I definitely get a bit close to, um, yeah, like the edges of the law because... Um, I'll have an EverDrive and I'll just show it up on screen. And, it, you know, I haven't played anything I'm not legally allowed, apart from probably tonight, but there's no developer that's still holding on to most of the trademarks for this. Um, so, yeah, but we're not we're not really illegal, I wouldn't say. No, it should be as, really as far as channels go, we're actually pretty, pretty legit. There are channels out there that straight up tell you how to wears... Uh, and download Switch games and stuff like that. We're not doing any of that kind of content. So yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, this right. bonus stuff is kind of dragging a bit. I'm yeah, just going to pop for does, a... Isn't it? For Enjoy. A Don't fall in. <laughs> and if you do, then just scream and, you know, I'll pop up and break lockdown to bail you out the toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's not so just... As, as kind of wills in the new, I'll explain a bit more of the game. It's it's fairly straightforward. I mean, you're on this, uh, yeah, triangle, this kind of vert. I forget what they're called. They're not called vortexes, but but anyway, these, uh, yeah, these shapes. And it's it's a shooter of types. Uh, it's not fantastic. I wouldn't say like a lot of people hype this as being the killer app of the Jaguar. I would say it's definitely playable, um, but. It just doesn't, for me, it doesn't hold up to uh, the really, really good shooters that came out on other platforms. I think, in some ways, that's probably because such good games came out on other platforms. Uh, the soundtrack's very good. Like, really kind of appreciate that. I think it, the one downside to it is that it's often the same tune that's playing throughout. Vectors, that's the word I was looking for. Vectors, I knew there's a word similar to that. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it's cool. Um, Definitely one of the games on Jaguar that I think holds up as, as being a playable game. Um, there's a lot of them, as you saw tonight, you begin playing them and you're like, oh, there's just no way I'll be able to play it for more than five, ten minutes. Whereas this one, when I start playing it, I, I do end up playing it for quite a while. And you can probably see, because it's a playable game, uh, I'm starting to pick up lives and things like that because I've remembered how to play it because it's actually enjoyable. So. Yeah, not not a bad effort all round, I'd say. Like I said, I don't I don't love it in the way that some people do. Some people will sort of talk about this as being uh, like a definitive game, almost of the generation, uh, and worth having a Jaguar for. I, I wouldn't go that far, uh, but I would say it's it's definitely fun to play. Um, mm. If you want to play it, I'd say yeah, check out the PlayStation or the Saturn versions, particularly the Saturn one. I think that's the the strongest of them. Did you have a good week? Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how was your week? Uh, it was fantastic, actually. That's good. Hmm. So I think I'll swap out of Tempest 2000 now, just because you can see how many lives I've got, and I'm in another boring bonus stage. But yeah, that yeah. one is not bad. I'll give it credit where it's right. due. That was fairly good. So we've played through most of them now. Um, I feel like it's probably the right time for us to give Doom a go and just see how that one holds up. Yeah, you want to give Doom a, sh give Doom a shout? 
I think so. I think we're coming towards the natural end because we're running out of kind of really interesting games yeah. to play on there at this point. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah. Let's oh, wow, look, look how quick the cursor's moving there. <laughs> I feel like that's a sign of what's to come. Okay, and it's kind of playing in a weird split screen. So that's obviously a problem with the emulator. Okay. Uh, it's only a bit I, slow. I what I might do is... Uh, I might do some wizardry in OBS. Exactly. Let's try and compensate uh, for that. Because if I... Uh, yeah, if I do this... Distort? Distort. Yeah, and then if it. I hold... I forget how it is I can do like a free transform. But I'll just try and make it a bit more... Uh, watchable to people. I'll find the button in a moment. Oh, I can't quite get what I want. What I want to do is extend it out. In terms yeah, of I know. Things. I know what you're trying to do. Uh, I think if I just go to transform and then edit, it's worth doing this. I think because yeah, it'll just make it a bit more fun for people to watch. Yeah. Uh, also, this is like the grand finale as well. Do one on a tire. This is maybe one of the best ports, isn't it? That's right. The HUD's all messed up as well. The HUD isn't centralized. Yeah, well, the HUD goes right across the bottom of the screen, uh, but the gameplay window doesn't. So, oh, this, is, this isn't this is great. Doing it like Just try this. it like that, dude. Yeah. Just try okay. it like that. That's fine. I'll give it a go. The frame rate's not as... Uh, let, me just, let, me, let me check it out, because I'm watching it on, dis, on Discord. Yeah. So like, We do need to remember Discord. that we're playing it on glitchy emulators that you know put it into yeah. split screen for one that's true so that's already a problem so there's a good chance that it's changed the frame rate i tried it in the other jaguar emulator and on there it ran ridiculously fast and i mean ridiculously yeah. uh, so that was like really difficult to play this from memory i'd say is closer <clears throat> to what the frame rate was like uh yeah this feels can't, pretty just can't familiar. beat the pc can you you can't for this one you no no I think the PlayStation I'm a bit 1 version was quite good, wasn't it, from memory? The PlayStation 1 version was really good. The sound effects were off, though. I like the PC sound effects. I don't like the Doom 64-esque sound effects, yeah. or whatever you want to call them. Not, I love the music. The Duke, But I don't know, the music. I prefer the music on the PC version, too. I like the atmospheric stuff, but... Oh, man, this is really no way near as good as I thought it would be. I, I feel like this be, is I down thought to the emulator, though. Uh, I've, yeah, yeah okay. I'm going to try out the other emulator just as a. Yeah, try that point because contrast. I'm a bit disappointed that, that. Didn't seem like it was running the way it was meant to. No, okay. But like I said, uh, that's the problem with using an emulator for the Jaguar. Uh, Jaguar emulation just isn't very advanced. And the reason for that is that it wasn't a very popular platform. So yeah, people man. don't work on it as much. And yeah. So it doesn't end up being quite as high quality. This is like something you've seen in the GBA. Oh, oh just wow, look how quick that's going to Oh, what, it's better? It's like double speed in the other end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. There's a way I can... Uh... Yeah, that's good. I feel like it needs me to be able to limit the frame rate in some way, but I, I looked at it Very earlier and I couldn't dude. find an option. At least it's quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so much quicker. I turned on the V-Sync. Weirdly, that seems to have had a... Big effect on making oh. it a bit more playable. See you later, homie. Dragon oh, John. Dragon Luck. Dragon John. Yeah. Dog. Thanks for dropping by. Really yeah, thanks for dropping by. Smash, smash that like button and, <laughs> and so forth. Found a video played on native hardware, runs smooth, but no music. Yeah. Is this what a game has terms of speed? Did you boost it? We must have boosted it, man. Oh my god, that picture on Discord. I need to go on to Discord uh, at dragon. some point yeah, here. We need okay, to so this isn't looking too bad there. now. I've got it running at a no? fairly... Yeah, this is better. This is better. It's about right now. Yeah, that's, that's cool. It's very pale. Yeah, I think the reason it's running too fast is probably because um, this emulator was coded quite a number of years ago. And they yeah. would have expected a PC like mine <laughs> to be running it. <laughs> oh, I'm I see. Powerful, right, okay. So it's probably too powerful for... Yeah, like what it's targeting. So they, the emu the jacket is very difficult to emulate because it's got all those uh, different processes and things, and they're not very well documented in some instances. So yeah, that's why it's yeah. part of what was going on. But I feel like if it was a really popular system, they'd have made it work. Like the Sega Saturn, for example. Yeah. Uh, it took a long time, but they got emulators working for that, and you can now emulate Saturn games on 
your PC, but the Janky were just that little bit further off because, yeah, this yeah. was never that popular as a platform. Now, and playing it tonight, I can kind of see why. I would say, yeah. I would say this, providing this is, is how it is, you know, it is an animation issue. I would say this is slightly below my expectations of what the uh, Jekyll version of this game was. Yeah. Like uh, I, I thought, I thought it was a little bit better than this, personally. But you know, it's it's, it's okay. If if I played this back in the day, I would have been stoked. But you just nothing can live up to the PC. Really yeah. Can't, you know? I think so, that was yeah. the thing for me. Was like with this version. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Loading. That was oh, weird. I found the oh, cheat. Really. What? Is it, well, That's definitely cool. an emulator problem. You shouldn't be able to just cheat there and skip those. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. do. So, I think mean, yeah. what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll reset that, if I can work out how to reset. Uh, and then whilst that's playing through oh. the demo bit, because that gives us an idea of what the game looks like, uh, I'm going to check out Discord and see what horrendous things we've got on there. Because it's I do like really funny to Stinky Tinky! Very <laughs> good. Um, I'm just going to, before I go into Discord, I'm just pausing the volume on here for a minute. If Will starts to glitch up a bit, it's because I'm moving around in Discord to look at things. So I'm using Discord to embed him into the stream. So if Will becomes a mass of pixels or like a big grey box, uh, just, don't worry, he's still with just, me. I'm still with us. I'm still with us. Holy shit, the slowdown when two enemies on screen. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just not, oh, not wow. Harry, isn't it? There's some great stuff. Uh, that's, the that's sounds, really cool. Uh, the sound is just a mess. To be honest, the best console port of Doom is on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I know, but Nintendo Switch came out yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Doom, Doom came out in 93. I think the best console port of Doom for the time is this. Just needed a bit of sound. But even this is kind of like in a little bit. But it's good for the time though. But this is been 64 bit. It should be running better. You know, it, it's 64 bit. But I think no no, I think the best version is the PlayStation 1 version. 100 percent man. Definitely. So it's just the sound effects aren't the best for me. We've got some pretty spectacular oh. content that's appeared here, haven't we? We've got <laughs> us reacting to the uh to the lion kernel, which was definitely the highlight of the stream. And then there's a thumbnail for uh, my future playthrough. Uh, <laughs> you're you're going to be that kernel. I knew that was going to appear as soon as I knew people. I can't were believe. I, I can't believe that. That yeah, is so funny. They must, they must have. Like, I, I, I really, it, it scares me to think that they were sitting in the office or something making that, that game and thinking, right, we're doing dead serious here. Let's go on. They wouldn't even have That's Google great. Images. Yeah. I'm liking all of this too, like a Tom and Will Tuesday, and that looks so yeah. cool. I really, yeah, genuinely really appreciate that. Let's have the chat over here. Yeah, definitely cool. <laughs> oh, really wow. Sweet. Uh oh, you all stinky tinky. I think that sums <laughs> up this whole platform, doesn't it, really? That image yeah, there. Yeah, that, that mean, yeah, the, 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 I always thought Jacker was better than it was. I'm a bit disappointed. But the thing is, I, like, I think I had to experience it more back in the day. And I loved it back in the day. But I always feel like... I, I think you're right, Tom, in the way that you sort of, like... You played Atari Jacker for a little while. And then suddenly, like, you found yourself going back to the Mega Drive again. And that's yeah. why these things... That's why it failed. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it failed, you know. That's why um, it wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't good. That's oh, it. Well. So, I'm just going to try and get you back into the stream... Because it's always yeah. a bit, uh, a bit confusing when, when I'm using Discord to embed you in, and I start scrolling around things. Sometimes I lose you. So just, <laughs> all, all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> Might take me a little while just to get you back in again. <laughs> but yeah, getting easier each time. To be fair, doing all of this. So now I've just shared like the entirety of Discord, which I'm now going to have to crop to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Like a window into eternity. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, did you show the Sonic 06 memes? Oh, no, good I'm night, not, man. I'm not going to stream yet. Uh, I thought I'd save that until we do Sonic 06 as a game. Yeah. Uh, but having said that... Good night, chaps. Have a good evening. Thank you take care, Cyclops. Thank you very much for joining us. 
If you haven't liked the stream, give us a like and stuff like that. It all helps out with confusing YouTube to think that we're nice people. <laughs> That's a definite confusion of YouTube there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Right. So let's see if I've I've only got half of your face, so I'm gonna try and get a full face so, so, so we can do a proper outro. Yeah, so so what is the plan for next time? Let us know what what, what is what is the plan for next time. We were thinking of Earthbound. There were more Sonic games. We have we have got the Sonic corner on the plan. So ideally what it's gonna be is I think that we're gonna do Tuesdays as a definite. Tuesdays is a definite and we've got like um Thursdays as well. And Saturday, so it's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday. But we think we might narrow it down to like two days a week. Hmm. So maybe like so, Tuesdays and Saturdays. I don't know. So Lime's house thinking is yeah, we'll do Tuesdays will be general playthroughs. Uh that could be something like this week we've got Super Mario World on Tuesday. Mm. And yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Thursday night, I'm gonna do Sonic Mania and do an all Chaos Emerald run, which I can't wait to yeah. do. I feel like I've earned my reward for playing this game uh, on the Jaguar. All, all of this entire library of Jaguar games, I feel like <laughs> so Sonic Mania sense. will make up for that. Uh, so yeah, so that's the plan for uh, this Thursday. And then when it yeah, comes no. to Saturdays, we, we'll just play it by ear a bit. Like we've been saying tonight, uh, if we play games, we want to be playing them because it's fun and because we enjoy it. That's, that's why it. we're doing what we're doing. Uh, Do you know, so, so Saturday's I... a bit hit and miss. I've got to admit, once COVID stops, I'll probably be going out seeing friends all that kind of stuff but yeah. whilst we're in lockdown in the way we are uh yeah quite often we'll be putting out a saturday and we'll, we'll likely advertise that a little bit last minute as well because in some cases it might be like yeah quite a late decision but tuesdays and thursdays you can depend on i definitely feel like we need to play um earthbound i mm. definitely feel we need to get on that that's so, so good so the idea with earthbound would be because we recognize that's a really big game to play and you'd be looking at about eight or nine streams worth of content to play through that one so what we're thinking is maybe we could do on a tuesday one week earthbound and then the following week yeah. we'll do a different game and then back to earthbound and then back to a different game just keep it varied for everyone um i mean yeah we do take kind of a on board what people say particularly on the discord and things pretty seriously too so just yeah chuck that in um just seeing what We've got here why don't you come on your own tom on thursday i'll come and say hello lol um well i don't need to come on my own because i'm gonna have will here as well yeah. cheer me on finding out what sonic mania is yeah um earthbound you never played it we never played it either so that's what's gonna make it even more interesting you don't want to leave the stream yet you're having fun well all good all good things come to an end <laughs> that's it how about undertale undertale's i've never played that before but i think keeping it sort of old school maybe i don't know we, 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 yeah. we'll figure it out and figure that, out. I mean, that's something else too. Like Will and I were chatting this week about some modern games as well that are a bit more popular. And um, mm. very wisely, Will sort of said actually he wanted to steer away from some of those games being on his channel because uh, he's not looking to appeal to that crowd particularly. Like actually for Will, he wants people that yeah played some of these games back in the day, appreciate them for what they are and as an art form. That's that's the crowd. Um, yeah. Whereas I'm a bit more open to playing some games that Will might not be so into, like Among Us, Undertale. Uh, I'll probably draw the night at, line at Fortnite just because I don't really want to play it. It's not really my scene. Um, I I've never understood yeah, Fortnite. But, I'm not sure because yeah. a lot of people don't like Fortnite, but I saw it and I thought it seems quite interesting. But like, it's not really. I wouldn't ever play it on my channel because. Mm. But like, I, I don't know. Like, it's, I, I've never really like. Um, I, I can't really get the words out. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I think I know where you're going. Robots, just... Fortnite, Minecraft, Rocket League. I yeah. downloaded Rocket League and I played it for like five seconds. I just didn't like it. Um... <laughs> so I think, yeah, with those games, uh, I've I've not done much with it, but I've got a Twitch channel. And if people mm. mention on Discord that there are games they particularly want to play uh, or want to see streamed and they don't quite fit with games from cardboard that will be the outlet for it and i think that's a good shout yeah, that's a if, good shout if it comes down to it and actually there's turned out to be a lot of content that needs to be made like that then maybe what i'll do is resurrect my old channel which i haven't done anything with in years uh, and that will be the outlet for some of that stuff but yeah. yeah just keen to make sure we keep this like fairly consistent in theme i just picked up a uh, storm wave it's got a really good comment there yes. any super game boy Games Hell yeah. in the mix. Uh, now, something really cool I've got uh, is a Super Famicom 
and a SD to SNES flash cart. And one of the awesome things with that is you can play Super Game Boy games on there, like natively. Nice. So it means I can actually play on a Super Game Boy and capture it into a stream. So we can that'd do be some really authentic Tom. Game Boy Oh, play. wow, that'd be uh, so, so good. Yeah, I'm totally game for that. So that'd be amazing. I'll tell you what would be awesome. If you jump on the street onto our Discord and just chuck in yeah. some of the games that you want us to play, uh, Stormwave. Please do, guys, do that. That's, yeah. that's a great idea. Yeah, and likewise, you know, I'm seeing here we've got uh, Super Mario, sorry, Superman 64 stream. Again, I'm open to that, but uh, I'd kind of need to, I think for me, play some oh, stuff I'm actually going to enjoy. Like, but so the Jaguar sucks. sucked, that's but awful. I enjoyed it. I don't it. think you can play the whole time. Superman 64, come on. Yeah. That sucks, man. We're not going to sit here for like two or three hours playing that dog crap. That's it. I feel like I play it in the same way I did the Jaguar tonight, where I might line up about yeah, six we, or like, seven play really bad games of it. and go, right, here's 10 minutes. Okay, I'm done now. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just I want to play games I like. That's, That's the bottom it. line. And I think the same for Will, isn't it? You know, you just want to play games that you enjoy. And I think Earthbound. Earthbound would be the one. I really think we need, like, uh, like one week on, one week off Earthbound and sort of, like... Because it's so... I, I've, I've heard things about it, and I think, really, Tom... We could be on some sort of crazy adventure. By the way, your microphone. Oh no, you're still there. You're still there. I think we could go on some sort of crazy adventure. We're on Minecraft and just sort of. It'd be a real like nice memory to look back upon, like when we when we complete it and go for this whole epic journey, slowly, slowly getting closer to the end. And when we complete it, we'd be like, "Wow, remember that time we completed Earthbound on the stream, Tom?" And you'd be like, "Yeah, man, I remember that time." And that'd be that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That wouldn't be cool. That, and that kind of is 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 really like it'd be a landmark occasion for us. It's like when we're old men and stuff to go. <laughs> remember that time we completed Earthbound? I'm like, yeah, man, that was intense. That final battle we did. I mean, I don't even know what happens at the end of the stuff. So we have yet for this to to come, you know. And I think if you can guys can be there for that to see that moment where we complete it will be a mark in history. And also we have it saved as well on stream to look back upon when we're old. Yeah, that is why streaming is so cool, to be fair, because you it is, create it? these memories and then you're like, and I, I mean, this is something that we haven't really experienced yet, but can you imagine in 10 or 20 years, you yeah. go, oh yeah, that, that 2020, that 2021, when we started streaming, what was that all about? And you watch it back and you're like, Oh man, look what my hair looked like. Oh, look at those yeah. lights I had in the background. Oh, look at, yeah. Oh, I can't believe we talked like that back then. Uh, but it's, yeah, just, yeah. it's cool to look but back. Isn't on. it weird? Like it's new memories, thinking, isn't it? New nostalgia that we're forming. But it's cool because it, well, it's so important. Because like back when we were growing up, when we had these moments of going to car boot sales to get in games and taking a game home, not knowing at all what it was, all that stuff is lost. Mm. We we have none of that to look back upon apart from what we have in our heads. Yeah. We can make these memories now. We can we can capture them. And that's so important. That's so important to capture this stuff now while we while we have it and while we still appreciate it, all this stuff. Yeah. And we can make all this amazing stuff and you know, completing Earthbound or playing like Atari Jagger and going, Oh my god, this is absolute crap. Look at that lion kernel. Yeah. <laughs> like uh well, well, 3D, Super uh... 64. That's probably oh, a good no. jump off point, isn't it? Because that's really previewed yeah, where we want to go. So we're going on an adventure, playing some different games. Uh, yeah. We're inviting everybody to come with us on that. And yeah, sometimes it'll be wild and wacky. Earthbound will be a bit of an epic that will probably take, you know, several months if we're doing every other day. It will uh, sorry, every other week. Uh, obviously, I'll still be doing my like insane Sonic runs and stuff like that. Yeah, of course. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see you soon for more late night reviews. Uh, anything care, you want to say? Well, um, well not, not really. Yeah. Just um, thank you very much for your support, guys. I really appreciate like uh, people coming across. And if you are new to this channel, and uh, probably come here from the Sonic video I made because I'm that, that video has got quite watched now. So people have popped along from that. Just stay subscribed, and new videos will be coming out, and uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, is Earthbound or Mother uh, confused about the title? Yeah, uh, Earthbound is Mother. It's it's all very wacky. It's a very very in-depth strange uh game that starts off hack starts off cute and ends up flipping dark it's like harry potter <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, definitely cover some of that lore that would be part of the fun i think is uh i'm it, always thinking it's, it's as well cool. as in the lore i might integrate a bit of uh see 
yeah, people will have seen we're getting into a bit of a pattern now where I do things like this and I bring up the specs to a system or compare. Yeah. I'll probably end up doing that for Earthbound. So when we get to a new area, uh, sorry, I'm getting into all the wrong uh, wrong scenes now. When we get into a new area of the game, I'll kind of introduce what it's about and everything. So uh, what's more linked to the Discord, please? Um, we'll, I'll tell you what we'll do uh, because there's been a bit of trouble sharing it. Uh, because I think for some reason YouTube keeps deleting it. Once this stream is archived, go back to it because uh, we will leave a comment in there with a link to the Discord. So the first comment on yeah. the stream, once it's archived, yeah, it's going to be related to this. That's that's a good show. I'll, I'll make sure I do that once um, once it's gone. So come back onto this stream once it's re-uploaded. There'll be a link to the Discord. So just jump on that and come across and say hello and go uh, keep in contact because we'll be doing more of these. Next Tuesday, what are we doing next Tuesday, Tom? Next Tuesday is Super Mario World. Again, Super might be a couple Mario... of streams in that one. Um, yeah, that might take a while. I'm not going to lie to everyone. I'll be totally upfront. I'm excited about Thursday because I'm going to do Sonic Mania All Chaos Engines mm. Run, and I can't wait to do that. That'll be like a reward for enduring the Jaguar. And Sonic GBA, I finally get to play Sonic Mania. And Will has never played Sonic Mania Reverse. Never so, played it. It looks yeah. great, though. It looks really good. So that'd be cool. That'd be a good one to tune in. If you want to see a bit more, uh, yeah, kind of a proper run for a game and, and me playing it well, that's what's going to be happening, uh, yeah, come Thursday. So that's been great, guys. So, yeah, we will see you soon for more late-night reviews. Take care. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.